Good morning, guys. Hello. Wow, I don't know what. I, I can't see anything on the screen. Yeah, Can you, weird. James? I can't see a thing. Guys, welcome aboard. Friday morning. Happy Friday. Yeah, I, I don't know why I can't see anything oh, on the screen. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, look. See it again? We saw it, guys. I, I, I can't see a thing. Is it the camera needs uh, wiping? I don't know what's going on. Is there something on the camera? Can you hold that, James? Good morning. Good I, I morning. I can't see a thing. Welcome aboard. We are in... I still can't see a thing. Virginia. Yeah, you're going to have to do that other that thing in the middle. Oh, there we go. Um, wow. Oh, you have to do that thing. Well, I see something now, but... Hey, Stuart Price is in the chat. Hey, Amy Joe Johnson, Bryce. Ronnie C. Ronnie C. Uh, Miss Willie C. Guys, nope. can you see anything? I'm having a real tough time. I don't know what... What happened? Yeah, I just, uh, just, no. I'm gonna pull over. Not sure what's going on, but I think I'm going to, I can't see anything on the screen. Yeah, I'll pull over. I'll get off the next stop. I, I can't even see what I'm doing. If I put it to the back. Guys, help me out here. Can you help me out? Yeah, for some reason, my, my brightness on uh, controls got, went to um, dark as possible. So, guys, yeah, sorry for that strange, Friday. strange beginning. It's the morning zoo. No, it's not. It wasn't the signal, Robert. It, was, it wasn't like that. It was my camera that I couldn't read the chats against the the picture. Your picture was good, right? Virginia. Mile 34. Connie Jackson saying, hey, good morning from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hey, Connie, we Kathy just passed o you last night. Kathy R is saying hi. Oh, Elle, said, uh, Elle, Elle uh, says, we can see you guys. And then is asking, where are we? We are in Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. Yep. We are at Rowanti Creek. We are 18 miles from Petersburg, Virginia. 40 from Richmond. 20 from Colonial Heights, 40 from Richmond. Amy Jo uh, Johnson says, revs are Honda cigarette and guns it. Nice. DT, uh, Dent Rig says, just audio and cut out. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, that's that happens because of uh, Destiny 11 saying hi. Yes, LD Original, we are not still in Virginia. We just basically passed the Virginia border where we uh, yeah, stayed for the like night. Yeah, we got exit three or something. Or yeah, six. where we stayed for the night. Just on the tip. I think it was eight. Yeah, we just dipped our toe in. Damon Virginia. Dunn's in the chat. Hey, David Dunn. Pop it in. And then was first in the chat. And, nice. And Miss Willie C. Now, I'm finally caught up with our roll call. And because C. I Ms. honestly, I couldn't read any of the chat messages. And that's no. because, not because of our, any internet connection issues. But because my iPhone display got set to very dark. The display. Somehow during the night. I have no idea how that no, happened. 66 degrees out here. Yeah. Stuart Bryce says Hudson filled the back seat with pizza. 66 WNBC. WNBC. Kayana Maria says, you got this. Good morning from Woodbridge, Thanks, Virginia. Kayana. You're almost in my backyard. Nice. Oh, my God. Throw down some pancakes. And then said, did you stay somewhere new? No, we went to, no. The, we went to an old trusted. The devil you know. Old trusted, I guess you could call it friend at this point of our budget hotel. Relax in. Yeah. You can it's, imagine. It's a budget hotel. I mean, but I have to say that the bed like is pretty log. comfortable. Yeah, I slept like a log. The sheets are clean. The, flocks are the floor was clean, so you could take your socks off. It wasn't like a boots, on. boots on. Totes. As, Totes. We have different levels of budget hotels, and one of them is so bad that you can't even walk on the floor because it's so filthy that you leave your socks on and you, well, you leave your shoes on, and then once you're ready to go to bed, you take your uh, shoes oh, you off, leave socks on. and you leave socks on in but case you have to. over your shoes, you put totes. Right. Or or you have to put your own. Um, Rubbers. No, you have to put your own clothes uh, to cover the pillowcases. Galoshes. I mean, then you just leave. I mean, if it's yeah. not bad, you just leave. But um, this is clean-ish. Yeah. The bed is clean. Don't look too hard. Right. The bathroom... Don't go snooping around. The bathroom was something to be desired. 
Yeah, don't go peeking around anywhere. Right. Just just go to bed, get up, leave. <laughs> don't look around. Now the original said, oh my God, laugh out loud. That floor would need serious attention. Now, where are we heading to? TT, we are headed to New York City. Whoa. To Manhattan. Cars weaving up there. New York City. Yep, the Big Apple. Oh, Beach Bomb 88 said, yes, we did fi fix the speed on our... Yeah, finally figured it out. There it is. Thanks, James. Give James long enough, he'll see through your brick wall. So, guys, in case you miss all yesterday's live streams, we rented a car yes, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, that and we true. are driving to New York City. We're heading due north. Now, we do it in... We, it's a two-day journey for us because we sleep overnight in a hotel. Yeah, we dropped anchor. Right. So we stopped. What time was it when we got into the hotel? About 11.30. About 11.30 p.m. Now, we got gas first. We'll talk about the hotel and all that. We're going to just wait for a little couple more people to shuffle into the Chai Clubhouse. Hang your coats up, guys. Get comfy. Nicolau is saying hi, saying oh, we're going to be stopping at the Waffle House. I think we're going to get what we're not but going to. James can't eat Waffle House. Because... The reason is, is we need to get to New York in a timely fashion. And we don't want to get caught up in like the Friday night traffic getting into the city. Well, we will anyway, but we want to mitigate it as much as we can. Right. And I brought, a day, I, brought a healthy, I brought a healthy alternative. This guys, is our tried and true. This is a, a, a travel hack. If you guys want to be driving and eat breakfast at the same time, but still kind of have a breakfast experience, this is my travel hack, my suggestion. What, why is it blurry? Cleared up now. Raisin bread. Raisin bread. <laughs> raisin bread. Cinnamon raisin bread. I mean, I just happened to buy the Thomas's cinnamon raisin swirl raisin bread. I mean, I know that's out of focus. Gives you a little boost. It's not but it's like, it's soft to eat. And it's not like it's not like just eating, even though you're just eating it plain and untoasted, it doesn't taste bad. Yeah. It's filling and nice. Yeah. So we will be having that shortly. All we had was a cup of coffee. Across from the motel that we stayed at, there is a um Simmons. Like a truck uh trucker stop. A trucker stop. And there was Simmons. I think they're open 24 hours. They were open, yeah. And oh, it was raining when we got uh, there. Right, for like a half hour. It did rain uh, briefly in Virginia. And when then we, we took Hudson for a nice walk. But I got coffee from there this morning. Coffee so talk. We, James and I had our morning coffee. That's all we have eaten. Just a that's not even eating. That's James drinking. James has his black truck stop coffee. I got the house blend. They had a nice mom and pop brand coffee that they were community yeah. coffee. Yeah. And. Um, we got that. It was $1.99 like per cup. My black coffee smelled like bacon. I yeah. think it was the cup. Well, next to the, the next cup. to the truck stop is a thing called Huddle House. Yeah. Where a lot of truckers were eating breakfast. And they're just pounds. Oh, Vincent's in the chat. I'm, I'm hey, here Vincent, to see you good through morning, the day. Vincent. Oh. Looking forward to it, Vincent. Texas Tickler's in the chat. M7 says, yummy, toasted with butter or cream cheese with coffee. Nice. Joseph Taylor's checking in. Joe saying, Taylor. Washington, D.C. to New York is four hours and 30 minutes thank okay. you oh vv marie says it's pouring in rhode island it's nice to see the blue sky oh nice vincent padula likes our uh, cinnamon raisin bread choice so richmond virginia 33 miles now road work do you see that's that? on the loop so we're not right. going on the loop so should we go ahead and um have a, yeah, have a slice, slice of bread right now yep dipsy doodles remember those dipsy doodles so the james bugles. is gonna james is reading the chat for a second while i un un undo this uh and i so got guys it. hotel no complaints right we're gonna talk everything about everything worked we're gonna talk about the price of the just hotel. don't look at anything too carefully too carefully don't go no the 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 bed area and around and the and the uh like the dresser area where we put yeah. our bags down was totally clean the i slept like a log if logs can be contented the bathroom was something to be desired i woke up carlo was wrapped up in the sheet like a mummy I mean, I wouldn't want to have to take a shower there. Put it that way. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. God, no. No. Now you're, I mean, yep, now you're, uh, you know, now you're uh, getting a little... Hidden. So, guys, we are going to have our morning breakfast. Our morning breakfast is going to consist of this. Yep. 
Look at those tour buses. Oh, and then checked on her iPhone. No precipitation in D.C. Nice. Fine and dry right here. Yeah, so Vincent, no complaints about um, we slept. Hudson had his own full bed. Mm-hmm. With blankets. We, I booked a room with two double beds because one, one for bed Hudson. for Hudson, one for us. He's not going to sleep on the floor, right? He was just thrilled. It's 66 degrees. Ah, uh, transition unstable. Yeah, bear with us, guys. Straight to Virginia. Yeah. I mean, through Richmond. Not, we have to say it again. We're going to go straight through Richmond, not the um, bypass. Not 295. We're staying on 95. If anyone has any objections to that, can look it up in the next 30 seconds. Let us know. If not, we're barreling through. Hudson's at the chart table in the maps. You know him, he's our navigator. And we're having our cinnamon raisin bread. Swirl. Ah, uh, swirl. Cinnamon raisin swirl bread uh, breakfast right now. So if you hear some munching in the background, that's what, that's what this is. James is stuffing his face. James, it's a little early for that. All right. Sorry, guys. El Mamoon is saying good morning. Hey, Ed Seven is saying hi. Annette Morales is saying good morning. So, guys, last night, what I did just to make sure there was a room when we knew we were going to get there is I just booked it online. to ensure that a room was available before we exited the Nobody highway. Nobody has any objections to staying on 95, right? Not I don't think seat. anybody heard you, Judge. All right. So, when we got to the hotel and we got the room key, we uh, just, you know, we didn't need to unload the whole car because we can back it in. And then uh, we, you know, took our essentials out of the car and our professional cameras and all that because we don't like to leave that in the car. And then I, we took Hudson for a walk. Once we took Hudson for a nice walk, we got back in the hotel room. They and we No, we played with Hudson. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Red Bull. It's with Red one of his toys. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Roberto Hellman says, save some cinnamon swirl for me. Ah. Yeah, it's hitting the spot. Oh, Mighty Bull's in the chat. Hey, Mighty Bull. Boom, boom, boom. Mighty Bull's in the room. Oh, MN says, traffic looks good through Fredericksburg for now. Thank you. Thank you, MN. Amy Joe says, call on the 541 if you need us. Thank you, Amy Joe. Sharon L. Uh, says, beautiful day for a drive. Looking good. Windy. Vincent says, yeah, that's good that you stayed at a hotel where you feel comfortable. I mean, we knew we could rely. I mean, all we're looking for is a clean, clean bed to sleep on. Yeah. We're for, not asking for much more. For God's sake, don't go looking around. Right. Oh, Patty Combs is going to try and make homemade Cheez-Its tomorrow. Oh. oh, that sounds great. Jason oh Morris God. is checking in. Oh, my God. Homemade Cheez-Its. Andy Wood says cinnamon raisin bread makes great French toast. I couldn't agree with you more, and Andy Wood. It does, and that's what I use to Carla make French toast. Carla makes a fine French toast. Are you having one more, James? Might as well. One in Rome. Are you? I think so. And then I'll be done for a little bit. Yeah, nice sunny day. Looks nice in New York, but New York is rainy. Oh, okay, got it. Thanks, Vincent. Oh, Paul McDonough says, I went for a run. You would think I escaped from prison. I run. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Oh, Jackie B is checking in. Hey, Jackie B. Paul McDonough had a striped onesie on, so that might have, you know.
speed limit goes down to 55 here, though. That's the thing. Maybe I'll get around this camper, though. Uh -huh. I would. Yeah, I'm just boxed in for a Sherry K says, good morning. Continued safe travel. I'll check in later. Thank you. Thank you. Friday. Heading due north. I-95. Tell Beach Bum 88. Hudson, um, we don't give him raisins. We know that. No, not good for um, Hudson. He's sleeping. He doesn't eat breakfast. We used to feed Hudson... Um, you know, two times a day, but since he's an adult, we had switched a while ago to just up, just in the evening. I mean, he has snacks and everything, but he doesn't eat um, a breakfast, per se. There was a Broadway play reason in the 80s. My ankle tag monitor, I left at home. All the time <laughs> saying. Oh, Jason Morris? <laughs> if, I make, if I make French toast, of course, again, I make it float. Yeah. I, with syrup. I love Love, love. Uh, you know. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Now, I like to Carla get... has a flask. No, I like to get the one, you know, like I, I get ones from like Made in Vermont or something like that. Like, I get it at the um, Union Square. Um, it has a worm in it. I, James, I get it at the Union Square Green Market. They have a um, great uh, maple syrup uh, vendor. Okay, so James, we're continuing on north. Interstate 95 north towards Richmond. That's our yep. plan. Yeah, Making a little traffic here and there today, guys. No worries. It's expected. It's anticipated. Robert, we do feed um, Hudson traditional dog food. Um, he gets on dry kibble. Um, Blue Buffalo brand. You know, we put a little sprig of parsley but on But we it. also, you know, give him treats, you know, as yeah. you know. A little vase of flowers nearby. If, we, if I make pizza, he has some pizza. We make it nice. Cloth napkin. Yeah. Only the best. Hudson's very well fed. Very well kept. Quebec makeable syrup is the best, Andy Wood saying. Nice. The life of Jeremiah Rios is checking in. Hey, life of Jeremiah Rios. Oh, in. Vincent Padula also likes to go to the Union Square Meat Green Market because they have lots of healthy stuff. They do. They're, it's a fantastic place. And you're supporting uh, local, we got you know, good garlic there. local farmers and everything like that. Remember that garlic we got? Yeah. David Dunn said, is Hudson a brunch type of pooch? Sure. Yeah, well, I mean, he'll eat whatever, whenever. You know, he's not picky about that. No. It's just, um, what we do is, um, you know, when he was a puppy, we always made it like smaller, two smaller meals a day. But, you know, different people do different things. But, you know, just because we worked and everything like that, it just was easier to just, uh, once he wasn't a puppy anymore, to feed him only one meal a day. He was never like, um, we, we had to sit with him when he was a puppy and eat. Right. He likes his, he likes his treats. But he likes to sit with us and eat. Exactly. It's hard to describe. We have to sit on the floor with him. Hudson's well fed and spoiled. Exactly, Robert Parker. Oh. Vincent Padula says, yes, I'm a supporter. Thumbs up. Thanks, Vincent. Vincent Padula says, blue buffalo is good food for dogs. My dog ate the salmon flavor. Oh, yeah. Look, here's that tr uh, tractor museum. Oh, yes. Guys, we stopped here in the past. Because I had to get a picture of that The trailer. Keystone Tractor Museum. And we took and, a picture of Hudson a, um, in the tractor. Right. There's tire. also a, a place to eat there. Oh, here's a mall. The South Park Mall. South Park. Is I that where that comes from? It's uh, pretty empty. You know the, the animated thing? I don't know. That's funny. Jason Morris, we didn't have breakfast. We just ate it. Uh, we were just discussing that. We just had cinnamon raisin bread. We just finished, literally, yeah, nice. while we were driving here. Texas Tickler says, my cat likes to eat breakfast with me on the kitchen table. 
Nice. A nice time shared. Yeah, Vincent Padula's dog did the same thing. They, they only wanted to eat when you were eating. Yeah, you know, like, Hudson is, you know, he just is so, like, attuned to us, you know? Yeah. Let me uh, straighten out the gimbal again. Yep. Guys, I, I learned a trick of using a gimbal while uh, live streaming. Is that, you know, it's always trying to find a, uh, like, when the road a is... zero bubble. Yeah, so I just try to... Hope everybody's having a nice Friday, wherever you're... Oh, you know why? We're on manual focus. Ah, uh, see there? How long has it been doing that for? That's why everyone's getting seasick. How did all the settings on the camera get changed? I don't know. Wow. Guys, I fixed it. Uh, uh, for some reason... It, the, the camera also got shifted to manual focus, which I did Hudson definitely... Hudson was looking at his honey last night. Definitely week. did not do. He was texting. Olaf from Colorado, says R.J. Wertheimer. Hey, R.J. Wertheimer popping in. Welcome aboard today, R.J. Fifi Marie is working right now. Th thanks for joining us, Fifi. The Mighty Bull says, Why did the Mighty Bull like Hudson the dog? Because Hudson was his bulldog companion. Nice. That's our Hudster. <laughs> Always ready for a bullish adventure. Oh, that's perfect. And thank you, Enter the Falcon, for joining in. Walt Money Scratchers says good morning. Hey, Walt. Vincent Padula says it looks Money fine scratch. now. Yeah, uh, internet is a uh, connection is good right now. And I got the autofocus back on. I don't know why the autofocus was off. Somehow all the settings got changed on the phone overnight. It's weird. Yeah. I don't think it was like that yesterday because I would have noticed that because like I notice it right away when it's yeah, blurry. Yeah, it's blurry, right. You would have noticed that. We're talking pollen, guys. Yeah, so guys, if you were, if you were watching our yesterday's live stream, if you recall, um, you know, some of you said, wow, Carla, do you have allergies? Because I was sounding like really nasally. And it's true. I was. And I was basically having an allergy attack. And we found out why. There is so much pollen in the air here. I mean, now we're in Virginia, but I, I, believe, I believe it was the same for, for North Carolina and probably South Carolina. When we woke up this morning and checked the car's windshield, it was covered in like a layer of yellow pollen. Yeah, fine dusting of pollen. So I think that really affected me and my breathing. Jackie B loves the riddles that the uh, Mighty Bull comes up with. Yes. Joseph Taylor says, Carla, my Google map shows Washington Bolt my parkway construction and a car crash. They're saying take 495 west to 95 to Baltimore. But we're not going to Baltimore. We just kind of yeah. drive through it. Yeah. I mean, we, we have a while to get to there, so maybe we check in again, Joseph, once we get closer. I mean, we're 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 kind of um a little whiles away from that. But yeah. yeah, if you could check that once we get a little closer. If, maybe to DC and then then worry about Baltimore. Yeah. Once we get through DC, then we'll worry about Baltimore. Right now we're hip deep in Virginia. Smack dab in the middle of Virginia. Yeah, Vincent said after you put on circulation mode, you were fine. Yeah, but I guess it was uh, drawing in air the that pollen. I was getting from the outside and it had a lot of pollen on it. Rochelle Knight just sent us $20 super chat. Oh, Rochelle Knight, that's a fantastic get us started. Oh, fantastic thank you job. so much, Rochelle. That's so sweet of you. See Hudson in the back seat there Thumbs in up the for sun. Games. You see him? He's in the sun. He's resting. Go. Thank you, Rochelle. That's so sweet of you. Extra good. And look, guys, I got my East Village Hudson Station shirt on because yep. we're ready. See, JKH, we're ready to go make our way back to New Extra good. Thank you, yep. Rochelle. Yep. 
Paul McDonough says in Amsterdam, you breathe in more than pollen. Oh, I would imagine. You're, you're like basically stoned walking around. M7 takes Zyrtec every day for allergies. Yeah, I take uh, allergy medicine too every day. Um, a Zyrtec, but I don't know. I just, it didn't cut it. It didn't cut it yesterday. What, what could I say? Vincent loves that shirt. He has it too. Thank you, Vincent. Nice job, Vincent. Look at that flag blowing. I mean, so it's not just me clearing my throat over the past few days. And then, no, I believe there's a lot of, um, Rochelle Knight also celebrates 11 months of membership. Oh, Rochelle, that's and a said, I sent that for a, I sent something for a little snack for you guys. Oh, oh thanks, Rochelle. Rochelle, that's so sweet, and thank you for the love and support. Guys, if you're wondering what, if you're um, new to our channel, maybe you don't know what, what membership is, uh, what that's referring to is uh, the YouTube membership program is another way of, um, you know, giving a little extra support to our channel. Just be besides watching our videos, which is obviously always free, giving a thumbs up, leaving comments, subscribing, all those things are, are free. Um, if you so desire, if you love uh, what we do and you, and you want to help out even a little bit more, uh, we have two membership programs. One's through YouTube. And the one through YouTube is easy to join. There's a, uh, a, a button right there underneath the video. And one of the perks of membership, it's kind of like a, I guess, like a Netflix membership, you, you monthly. But you can pay ahead for an entire year, I, I believe. I don't know if they work that way with YouTube. I think maybe just monthly. Patreon, you can pay for um, a year ahead of time. Anyway, you get a little access to special perks, like advanced notification of when we're live streaming. Like this morning, I announced like around 15 minutes before we started live streaming that we would be live streaming this morning. Sometimes we give up even way more advanced notifications. Like on Wednesday night, I announced to all our Patreon members and YouTube members that we would be starting our road trip. Pulling up our anchor. On Thursday morning. So I gave it like, a, I gave you a whole overnight advanced notification. Another thing is that you can get little Hudson custom emojis. The custom emojis that you can use in comments and on the live chat, they're a perk of the YouTube membership. Norm Roberts checking in from Bangor. Oh. Hey, Norm. Marit says, when do you reach New York City, do you think? I'm from Norway. Uh, Marie, that's a great question. Norway? Probably um, sometime early this evening. Yes, Vincent Padula, we put up your Look pictures of all your, all your shirts on the, um, that was nice, on the community page. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, Andy Wood, that was a huge flag, right? Massive. It looked beautiful this morning. Ambrose Chamberpot checking in, saying Vanishing Florida. Oh, Jason Morris says, oh, I didn't see the necklaces that I sent you when you turned on the gimbal on you. Yeah, Jason, there. I didn't want to chance losing them while we were uh, traveling, you know, like and staying in a hotel room. They are packed and I have them with me. They are packed inside my bag along. I'm not wearing any necklaces on my neck, um, as you saw. I did not want a chance losing them because sometimes, like, I don't sleep with my necklaces on. Um, I never feel comfortable doing that because um, they get twisted. They get twisted and everything like that. I don't. I don't want a chance um, them getting twisted. And I didn't want to uh, oh, lose. I didn't want to lose anything in a hotel room. You know, I don't mind if I happen to fall asleep with them on in, at home because I'm going to find it if it's somehow got lost in the bed. Yeah. But not in a hotel room. I would never chance that. But I do have it packed and I will be wearing it again. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, I brought, we brought everything. And, and even Hudson's gifts are, are all packed. Everything, everything we travel with. I mean, some things we don't. Like some of the puzzles, obviously, they're staying. Like the puzzle that we're working on. Yep. You know, we, we don't travel with the, with that. Yep. Uh, some of the other things that make more sense to leave in Florida, we leave behind. But we travel back and forth with a lot of stuff. 
John T says, I think this is the sixth or seventh time I've followed your trip between Florida and New York. Nice, John T. Thank you, John T, for watching. There's a high overpass. Oh, my God. Oh, guys, this is a fun overpass. James and I always think of this as like, look at that. It's like a ski lift. Isn't that crazy? Look at that, yeah. guys. It's to go over the river, I guess, for, for ships to get underneath it. Isn't that crazy? Look how big that Vietnam Veterans Memorial Bridge. Nice. Isn't this crazy looking? Guys, let us know wherever you live. Do you have these big overpasses like this? I know California has some big overpasses. Sky high. Andy Wood says it'll be another year before you can finish that puzzle. No, I mean, I, I, most likely we'll be um, heading back down sometime this summer and we'll probably finish it then. Uh, right now we, we were actually working on two puzzles in Florida. One is from um, a, a wonderful gift from Hannah Murray, our, our wonderful channel supporter, sent us a Lego minifig puzzle. I'm just straightening out the gimbal, guys. That's one puzzle we're working on. It's Carla two puzzles. And the other puzzle. Oh, chemical puzzle. The other puzzle is um, trying to straighten this out yet again. Well, it's twisted. Is the vinyl record Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones exhibitionism so, yeah. puzzle. Tour. From, uh, yeah, the, the tour puzzle from Marjolein sent us, our wonderful channel supporter from the Netherlands. Yeah, it's a tough one. Shaquille is saying hi. Hey, Plain thing. Yeah, you're right. That is pretty high. I know which one you're talking about. Sharon De Pasquale said they're starting to build some in Rhode Island. I oh, should have took the train to the plane. Oh, no sense. I don't think anyone's hearing you right this second. All right. Took the train to the I plane. I don't remember the buffering of cigarette buildings, as I like to call them. This is the headquarters. Guys, do you remember those commercials if you're Morris. in the New York area? I should have took the train to the plane. Shaquille is saying good morning. Hi, Shaquille. Amy, Amy Joe says from Hyannis, Massachusetts. Oh. Oh, Hyannis. Nice. Cape Cod, right? Cape Cod, right? We love the Cape. That's beautiful there. It's the Cape. Um, I see the city of Richmond uh, looming ahead. Yeah. I see the skyline for the city of Richmond, Virginia. Yep. A lot of uh, truck stuff over here. Yeah, Richmond. Uh, Shipping. You know, was uh, port. Basically built on the tobacco industry. Yep. Indeed. I think I might have lost my chat messages. Uh -oh. That last buffering. So let me uh, get out Carla two phones. Hold on, guys. I'll. I gotta get my chat messages up on the other phone. You know, all logistical stuff. Yeah, sometimes our Prism Live, uh, we lose the chat messages, so we have to use. Oh the no, there we're back. Following Carla on the road, says Amy Joe, and Jason Morris is is uh, saying hi to Wendy. Oh, thanks, hey, Wendy. Wendy. Good, we're, we're back. We're yes, back in Virginia. the New York room. There is a back. Santa Claus. Oh, guys, I just, uh, you know, we had very poor internet connection at where we stayed uh, overnight in Virginia. Um, and I want to tell you that I we filmed a short last night. Yes. And it didn't go, it didn't get published until this morning. Oh, until, God. Until we were away from the hotel where we had internet again. Oh, gosh. So in case you're wondering what it looked like at night, in, yeah. in uh in, in Virginia in Poria in that was Hudson. uh during Hudson's little walk yeah well, as soon as we got our, to the hotel room and got our key to the room we put our, some of our bags down in the room and then we took Hudson for a nice walk we did a little short so. you had a good sniff yeah it's a cute it's a cute little short 
We had a good sniff. Now you see these uh, taller buildings. That's the city of Richmond, Virginia. Yep. I'm gonna just, you know, the thing gets crooked with the, the gimbal is that it tries to find a straight line. Now I could record this whole video by using like a suction cup mount to the windshield of this car. However, it would be really difficult for me to read the chat messages because like the phone would be all the way, like I can't even reach from where I'm sitting. So you have to totally rely on two phones. Yeah, which I don't like doing because then I'm looking down all the time and I like to look straight ahead to help James, you know, like with traffic snarls or something that I see on the road. You know, two eyes are always better than one, as I like to say. Oh, Sonia Perez is saying hi. Good morning. Hey, Sonia George Perez. Love's checking in. George Love, popping in. Not only and Wendy, we said hi. With the investigator, Brenda Nelson's checking hey, in. Hey, Brenda. Nasima Farah's checking in. Danette's checking in. Wow. Danette. We're in Virginia, Danette. Richmond. Yeah, guys, sorry I didn't see all those chat messages. They just literally came up right now. Uh, here we are in, in the city of uh, Richmond. I always love this building on the right. I'm going to uh, get a little... No, maybe not. Love that building there on the right. Good. Roberto Hellman said, Car James and Carla, I can't wait to share a couple of pizza slices with Hudson. Uh, oh, nice, yeah. Is this on? I don't think so. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we need a little air. Yeah. A little air. Because I'm like you know, boiling over here. here. Yeah, you're in the beacon in the sun. Yeah, this is Richmond, Virginia, guys. Richmond, Virginia. Shake and bake. Built on the, on the tobacco industry. Tobacco, you know? yep. Look at that graffiti, has been running up there forever. Show that. Look at that. Way up there. Jennifer Hayes said, beautiful sky. It is today, right? Yeah, pretty clouds. The investigating saying, New York City time, let's roll. Oh, Wendy's asking, how is Hudson? Right. Let's check in on Hudson. Let's check in on Sir Hudson. Sir Hudson a lot. There he is, he's on his pizza blanket and he's sleeping. The Hudster, El Hudslero. He's sleeping. Sleeping. Sleepy. Sleepy boy Hudson. He woke up in the middle of the night to know where he was. The old Confederate capital, yeah. Cynthia Orr is checking in and saying hello from South Carolina. Hey, Cynthia. Guys, thanks for joining us today for day two. Um, this is part four of our journey. Yeah, some abandonments uh, from drive, road trip drive in our rental car from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to uh, New York City, Manhattan to be specific, yep. East Village to be even more specific. We'll be uh, live streaming the whole drive. Yesterday we live streamed for over 12 hours. Stewart says Hudson's streaming of pizza. Most likely, you're right. Most likely. Vincent said, I think I, I uh, that he's snoring. Yeah. Wendy says, hi Hudson, big kisses. Oh, Jack Rab just joined in the hey, chat Jack, clubhouse. Hey Jack, Richmond. Joining us for day two. Take your coat off. Andy Wood said, Tobacco Road. Stay a while. Amy Jo is driving, listening to her music in her Honda Civic. Nice. Extra good. We're in the city of Richmond. Passing through. Joseph Giangrande says Hud Sinatra. Oh, Hud I love it. Yeah. Hud Sinatra. Yeah. Roberto says that pizza blanket is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary Keppel is saying hi from Pittsburgh. I'm having some crazy weather here. Oh, stay safe. Yeah, stay In safe. In Pittsburgh, um, we're not going to be, you know, Pittsburgh is, is uh, way, way west, west yeah. of where we are. We're on Interstate five on Interstate 95 heading north. Um, 95, although though it does go through um, 
New Jersey, it doesn't go through the state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is off to uh, the west. I mean, I think actually, um, you know, we go on the New Jersey Turnpike for a while, and I think if you stay on 95, it will take you to Philadelphia. Yeah. So there kind of is a um, connection. connection there. JD here is checking in saying good day. Hey, JD here. Robert Parker says, as you head further north, you'll see an increase in clouds. Thank yeah. you, Robert. I noticed that, Robert. Jackie B said, I, I dreamed about Hudson last night. Nice. Now, I hope that was a good dream. Here's the Verizon truck. Yeah, 95 goes through Philly. That's what I'm saying, um, Damon. We don't, we don't, we actually take a kind of a detour. Not a detour, but it's the, the most direct route is to take the New Jersey Turnpike through New Jersey instead of taking 95. Because then you don't get a, um, oh, right. Guys, this is a twisty, like, kind of turny little road, 95 through through Richmond. Right on the little up and down hills and turns and twists. Exactly. Speed limit is, well, uh, I don't out. know if this you know something here. This guy wants to come over. Yeah. Oh, no. God. I, I have to yeah. oh, pay attention geez. here, James. Yeah, I thought he was going to cut into us here. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he knew what he was doing. See, that's why I like to pay attention and help James as much as possible. Sorry, um, the gimbal's going all over the place. Catawumpus. Sticklebats. New Jersey Turnpike, exit 11. You can wave hi to the hobby shop. We definitely will. Nice. Brenda, that sounds great. Are you okay there? Your sticker? The Hobby Shop sticker is firmly implanted on the Pedro spark plug of frame, fame. I almost got that out without messing it up. Almost, Jeez, huh? you know, I had to work hard at that one, guys. I tried. Let me try it again. Uh, on the Pedro's spark plug of fame. I got it all out. People are driving, you know, tailgating stuff. It's all, you know, that's what they're into here. Hey, Stephanie Gray, how are you? Johnny Azaria TV's sticker? Well, yeah. On the Pedro Spark Plug of Fame. And Hudson is all over the Pedro's Spark Plug of Fame. Exactly. up soon. That's a great reminder. Uh, we will nice should, job. We should get that out. Best chat on YouTube right shortly. here. Shortly. Let's uh, take that out. Okay. And then gave us the easy pass holder. El 
suction cup up? Do you have to wet it? Uh, it's, we'll take our chances right now. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. How is Hudson? Jennifer hey, Hudson is doing great. Oh, Jennifer. Yeah, George nice. Love just became a member of our YouTube family. Oh, George oh, Love. Oh, George, thank you so Welcome much. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Now you can use a Hudson emojis. There he is. Jennifer, there's Hudson. He's sleeping you in the sun. You have access to the all-day buffet now. Look at how look at how he's sleeping in the sun. Look at the little like a like a line of sun on Hudson yep. and beats him like The Lido that. deck. It's been opened for George Love. Ivan Hernandez is in the chat watching us from the um, Bronx. Oh, and then oh, says, nice. and then gave us a heart. There it is. The easy pass is up. Thank you for the reminder. Wow, that's a big dually. For Kayana Maria. Hey, it looks like the, the, you know, like a dually that's in our complex. Yep. It's not, but it looks like it. Sharon says, Hudson looks so comfortable. Jennifer says, oh, sleepy boy. Um... Amy Joe is using a GPS system. Oh, extra good. Oh, nice. Brenda Nelson says 330 miles to East Village, NYC. Six hours, 45 minutes. Nice. We'll take that. Alyssa B says, do you have a favorite um, exit you stop for rest? We stop at the Wegmans in Fredericksburg or near the Crackle Barrel. Um, well, you know, it really, like, we don't really have a favorite, I guess you could say, but we do, we do always get a kick out of... Uh, south of the border south carolina just because we like to see all the old uh like we love all the neon and we love like you know the quiche the roadside yeah. attraction quiche it's just yeah it's just like a bygone era so that's always a favorite of ours and like basically we always um bucky's on the way down you know kind of stop well now bucky's is the new thing but that Buck daytona right in florida on our way down right it's like you're almost there George Love has just put up a whole bunch of emojis. And just like James said, I have to wet the suction cup if I'm going to use that. So we don't need to put that up right now. I'll, I'll deal with that at a later time yep. as we get a little closer. But it's out, so we won't forget. That's a great question, though, Alyssa B. You're gonna miss my loving. You're gonna miss. You're gonna oh, miss. Oh, JD here. We did not stop for breakfast. Um, You'll never find. What I did is before we left Florida, I went to the store and I I purchased a cinnamon raisin swirl bread, and we had that for breakfast. Uh, just plain cinnamon raisin swirl bread, you know, right from the uh, bag. Yeah, James isn't having any more. Uh, because uh, we knew that. James got a blood test result back and, and his triglycerides and cholesterol were a bit high. So so we're trying to lower them by 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 making some more changes in the diet. Yeah, scraping the butter off and the toast. And having eggs and, and toast and hash brown. Hash brown. Well, well, it sounds wonderful, but especially when James isn't getting any exercise because all he's doing is sitting in the car driving. Yes, it I only did 2,000 steps yesterday. Um, we we said, you know, that's not... We have to make some adjustments. Wouldn't be prudent. Right. Things are going to change. I can feel it. So instead we did... Up. The aforementioned breakfast at Waffle House. Right. James, sad penguin that he is, is not having it. Right. Jason Morris says Hudson All Day Buffet has the best pizza. Hudson's the best pizza maker. Yeah, the All Day Buffet. Very true. Very true. Hudson can eat whatever he wants because Hudson's Hudson. Yeah, I think we're okay now. Just re, re I mean, I'm, I, it seems like the signal is strong, guys. Just recheck. The midichlorians are strong. The the signal is strong on my end, guys. So we just recheck. That's what I'm saying, guys. You know, while we're driving, there's not much I can do if we go through an internet no zone. But um, it looks good on my end right here, so I would just refresh your your feed if you can hear what I'm saying.
Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat. Sonia Perez has a question. Which much appreciated New York City former mayor is buried in the Bronx? Huh. Is it Fiorello LaGuardia? I'm gonna guess Fiorello LaGuardia. They don't teach that stuff in school. Bella Absuck. Juna, Jennifer Reese says it's super windy here in Rhode Island. Ivan says that we're famous. No, you know, Only I mean. I, I would say our photography has um, been gotten critical acclaim. That's a good Everything. good word for it. Yeah, acclaim. Fly away. Sonia Perez said, oh my God, I got it right. It is Fiorella LaGuardia. Nice. Carla. Woo. The Bronx girl got it right. My girl's mad smart. How do you like them apples? That was a tough one. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't know that, but I mean, you know, one of the things that I like to do at night um, is I read a lot of books on New York City history, yep. and that's uh, Fiorella LaGuardia is. Um, I find that shit fascinating. Exactly, he is the one that outlawed um, street peddling, you know, push carts, and he, with uh, because of that, they created storefront indoor markets such as the Essex Street Market and the uh, Bronx uh, Arthur Avenue Market. Like the first street market in East Village. Right. right. And uh, that's basically the genesis of the preponderance of storefronts in New York City. And being that we're all about photographing and supporting independent stores, that's how I knew that little factoid. Early point for Carla, says David Dunn. Jack Raff said Fiorello LaGuardia used to read the Sunday comics on the radio while he was mayor. Yes, yes. Exactly, Jack. Or TV. Yeah. Your form of entertainment it was the radio. It's before the internet web. The interweb. Oh, JD went out for, his, uh, went out for my first kayak adventures for the season. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, wow, nice. nice. Chilly water, I would imagine. If we're in there. I don't know where he is. Oh, Vincent says stick to sprouted bread um, that has uh, no, you know, no salt or in it. Exactly. I've tried sprouts. You know. Alfalfa sprouts. Yeah, put them on top of your salad. Yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah. Could be worse. Ivan, everything's going great. We're on day two of our uh, road trip. You'll never find. Vincent's uh, recommending the Ezekiel's bread. Oh, brand. what's that? Ezekiel's. You know, that's the spr sprouted one. Oh, sprouted bread? Right. able to find things at the stores that are, you know, all these, um, you know, uh, wonderful diversity uh, of uh, things that you could eat. Right. So it's more difficult to find those. Look at all the trees budding. Just they will. It all feeds into it, I guess, into the Chesapeake Bay. Important to read the. Yeah, I mean, no zone. No zone. Like Hill and Valley effect that we have now? Oh, yeah, Hill and Dale. Chip and Dale. So, guys, it looks like our, our internet um, is a. Uh, is a yes zone now, not the no zone. It's like I, I told you how much uh, salt is added, butter. how much butter, how much sugar. Well, you know, you don't know anything, basically. Oh, uh, here comes. Oh, name. Jimmy, uh, Vinny is asking, what state are we in? We are in the state of Virginia, right by King's Dominion, Virginia Amusement Park. 
We're a mile 70, 97 on the, the mile marker. Car. And the, the bumper's sagging. I think we might have lost our yep, shot Dominion. thing in Jibu. So I'm going to check on that. The park is open now on Saturdays and Sundays. So they open for the season. The way I do. Guys, thanks if uh, you're new to our you new know, to our chat family thank, and new to our channel. Um, thanks for subscribing, or if you if you haven't already, we, we hope you will. Thank you for that, because I know that through our live streaming on our road trips, we've gotten a couple of um, new subscribers. So that's always yeah, wonderful nice job, to see. Guys. Flat foot flugy with the fly fly. Flat foot flugy with the fly fly. <laughs> That's great, Jimmy. Salt peanuts. Salt oh, peanuts. Oh, Rev Jen's in the chat. Hey, hey Rev Jen. Jen. Also, Wolf Wolf. Wolf Wolf Howells. He Ooh. likes all the beautiful trees. Yeah, look at them. They're blossoming. Pollen. Pollen be damned. James is out. Vincent Padula said, yeah, I had to learn, Carla, about healthy stuff. I was a bodybuilder, power lifter, and uh, I already knew about nutrition, and I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Nice. Yeah, you know, like, it's I funny. I know nothing. Yeah, James had a terrible basically diet. a terrible diet when we first met. All he ate was one meal a day, which was dinner, and, and that was McDonald's. Yeah, or a hamburger. Well, that was like at the diner. Right, but basically McDonald's yeah. or a diner. Yeah. You know, just ate. He didn't eat breakfast at all. And, about and I, thirty I, coffees a day. I forced him to eat breakfast. I was like, James, breakfast is like the you know. Not into it. To get through the day and to this day james does not like eating breakfast no. i make him eat breakfast but he does not he's not a breakfast person no. some french fries on a hard roll perfect <laughs> jason morris says hudson makes me happy oh Guys, sorry about the internet no zone. We're back. Pookie Six saying good morning, James Carlin hey, Hudson. Pookie a lovely Six. day to roll into New York City. JD is checking in from the Canadian Rockies. Hello, JD, JD, JD here. Oh, so mint. Yeah, I do. I smell it as well. Guys, we've got a big, strong smell of mint all of a sudden. In case you're wondering a where, smell. where Sweet Boy Hudson is, let me show you. Yeah. There he is. He's in the back seat on his salt peanuts, salt peanuts, pizza blanket, salt peanuts, salt peanuts. Guys, we're on our way to New York City. We're currently in Virginia. We're entering Carolyn County. Oh, but first, coffee is saying hello from yeah. Chi Town. Yeah, you have to put the emphasis on the right syllable there. But first, coffee. Yep. Oh, I could go for more coffee now. Oh, Robson Lopes saying, hi everyone, good Friday. Hello, Robson Lopes. Hey, welcome happy to our, Friday. Welcome to the chat family. I don't, I didn't recognize your name right away. Um, if you're new Hang to- your coat up, stay a while. New, new to the chat, welcome. We're in a rental car, guys. We're heading north. We are driving to New York City from Fort Lauderdale. We left yesterday. We rented this car in Fort Lauderdale, and it's the 2023 Hyundai Tucson, which is like a, you know, a sport you. Yeah, it's nice. Only complaint to seats. Amy Joe saying he's a sleepy boy. Jackie B says, thank you for taking care of, uh, of good care of James. Yeah, you know, I take good care of Hudson. I take good care of James. You know, they're my boys. Yeah. And I want to, I want them to live as long as possible. So, you know, good nutrition is a uh, part of the equation. Yeah. Broccoli says. Wendy, the only the only complaint I have about the car Eat is your broccoli. That, is that my passenger seat, my passenger seat, is not that comfortable for long. I think it's the terms. adjustment of it. Yeah. Because I have an adjustable power seat. Right. 
where you can change it a lot of different, like you can move it electric, electrically. Right. And adjust it. And while it gets uncomfortable, you can fiddle with it very precisely and adjust it after but a couple hours. But the gas hours. mileage has been good and, and it handles well. What's, what's the, the current? The Carla has a lever on one side. What's lever. the current gas mileage? Do you have uh, that on your? I don't, I don't want to lose the middle thing. Okay, fine. We are we getting were about 34 to the gallon on yeah, highway. Which is great. And it's a it's a big, nice, comfortable car. Oh, Chris Horn is checking in. Chris and uh, Elizabeth in Iowa. Thanks for joining, Chris. Let me uh, try to get this a little bit straighter for you guys. There we go. As a boy saying, the broccoli diet for James. Exactly. Oh, Brenda Nelson had an organic Kona, Kona coffee this morning. That sounds nice. Oh, yeah. Broccoli says, damn right. Now, guys, grow, growing up, I eat all sorts of sugary cereals. I would say one of my favorites. I uh, still like the sugar. Uh, Captain Crunch. I really like the Captain Crunch cereal. Now, boom. But it had little marshmallows in different shapes. Yeah, the kaboom. I, I, I never had kaboom. You know, different uh, I remember. artificially colored marshmallows, you know, like, yep. uh, obviously super not good for you. Kind of like um, Alpha Alphabets. I, that's another cereal I used to eat. I used to yeah. like spelling my name out and different things in the cereal. Did you get the, the Alphabet SpaghettiOs? No, SpaghettiOs is a different story. We're talking, we're talking breakfast Hey, now. look at this. Yeah, look at that with all the extra tires. Look at that. Huh. That's something you don't see every day. Oh, Chase and Morris. Oh my God, your favorite cereal growing up was Wheaties? Wow, you were healthy. Wow. I did not eat Wheaties as a kid. No way. That didn't have any uh, That didn't have any sugar in it. Oh, look at old Thunderbird. Oh, what's that? Uh, oh yeah, look at the guy. A guy, um, they're towing an old Thunderbird, a vintage car. Yeah, I gotta get up there. But something's, um, something's like a... Uh, burning in the you know in the air yeah rev jan asario lucky charms that's the one with the little marshmallows yeah, orange too. stars exactly. and green clovers jack rab used to have it with the frankenberries the uh, captain crunch for the frankenberries exactly yeah franken stuff well that's a different that's we're talking breakfast i now. know see i never ate breakfast really i ate captain crunch and sugar pops oh yeah sugar pops too Sugar smacks. Oh, but but first coffee is saying, uh, James Carla, have a great day. Uh, be Thanks safe on that. my coffee day. Nice. Thank you. Uh, but first coffee? Yeah, we have to ha get some coffee recommendations. Oh, Jack Rab, we did get the digital speedometer in miles yeah, sure. working. Yeah, I finally figured it out, Jack. Give James long enough, he'll see through a brick wall. There you go. I like to say. Just leave me alone, I'll figure it out. All I wanted was a Pepsi, and she wouldn't give it to me. Just a Pepsi. Vincent ate healthy too. Jason um, saying, "Yeah, Wheaties are great with uh, some bananas sliced in there." Yeah, I've, I've, sugar smacks. Oh, I had that too, as in boy. That's what I said. With the, sugar with smack. The, with the turtle. With, no, it's I mean, a, a frog. A, a frog going ribbit, ribbit. Yeah. I go cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I had that too, Vincent. Cuckoo for cocoa puffs. That was the chocolate puffs, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. With count chocula. Count chocula. Booberry. With booberry, yeah. Hey Mark. Good morning to you as well. Good morning, Mark. Oh, Elizabeth Hart, I will be in and out of the chat. I just uh, I have to make some coleslaw. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Homemade coleslaw, extra good. Oh god, you guys. I love coleslaw. That's another thing that James is not allowed to have anymore. Yeah, yeah, occasionally. I don't think it has enough letters to, to write out Thunderbird on there. You know, like yeah. it's written on something. So I that might it. be a fair lane because I see yeah. less letters. Yeah, or is this a Pontiac? Yeah, we, we, uh, no. No, too many letters to be Pontiac. Oh, it says... A it says S A L A A X I E. No, G Galaxy. It's a galaxy. Galaxy. 
Oh, that is sweet. I didn't know the galaxy was IE. And I didn't wow. know it was so small. Guys, look at this galaxy. My dad had a galaxy for a while. Oh, Sunliner. The Sunliner. Galaxy Sunliner. 500. 500. Wow. That's a nice car. All needs a new top, maybe, and a back window, and you're set. That thing is great. Wow. That's cool. Rev Jen also loves coleslaw. Yeah, James loves loves coleslaw. Potato salad, forget it. Yeah, Vincent also is shouting out. Oh, wait a minute. The way I do. It's the Virginia Bazaar flea market. Yep. Chris Hahn says, Quisp with the space guy with the yeah, propeller Quisp. on his head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Quisp. CAK813 says, my family's was a Rice Krispies family, but I also liked Apple Jacks. Oh, Apple oh, yeah. Jacks, Apple Jacks, cinnamon, for, crunchy, Apple oh, Jacks. Yeah, a is for Apple, J, J is for, for Jacks. Jacks. Cinnamon, toasty, Apple, Apple Jacks. Jacks. And Cracklin Oat Bran. I haven't eaten cereal in years. There's a British cereal I like called Weetabix. Oh, I know the Weetabix. Weetabix. Yeah, that is very healthy. I like cheese and onion tatos. Jennifer Reeves liked that Galaxy 500. The Galaxy yeah. Sunliner. Yeah, Sonia was cool. Oh, Vincent had T-tops in, in his Trans Am. Oh, oh T-tops, yeah. Guys, 72 Burt miles Reynolds. to Washington, D.C. 22 miles to Fredericksburg. 22 to Fredericksburg? Yeah. And how many to D.C.? 72. Well, now there's the problem there. Yeah. Vincent had the Trans Am GTA in Burgundy with the gold. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Rev Jen, I was like, oh my god, I don't remember any of those commercial songs. Yeah, those those jingles. Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks, cinnamon crunchy, Apple Jacks, A is for Apple, J is for Jacks. I'm trying to remember any other jingles. Of, what was uh, the lion? Cornflakes? I mean, lion? I liked, as I got, not when I was a young kid, but as I got like a, an older kid, I, I did eat Life Cereal with Mikey. Mikey likes it. Yeah, Mikey went to my college. The actor. And then there was this rumor that he died eating Pop Rocks. Yeah. That wasn't true. Mark, I, James can't have anything except steamed vegetables now. No oh, more yeah. coleslaw. No more uh, any of that. Only on, a, on an occasion, like, you know, it's a special treat. It just, we really have to watch it. What, you know, I want James to, uh, to to live for a long time so I'm I'm I'm, yeah. I'm on his patrol now chicken and rice chicken and rice broccoli chicken and vegetables chicken and salad I you make know, I make a nice salad I make it using uh, spinach yeah I'm doing you know oh uh, Patricia Johnson saying good morning how was the hotel hey Patricia. Uh, we got a good rest yeah good rest oh Dye is saying Tony the Tiger of course, Frosted That's Flakes. It. Not Lion Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Yeah, yes, it. and Snap, Crackle, and Pop with yeah, the Rice, nice. Rice crispy guys. Yes. Yeah, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Oh, uh, Vincent had a, a Cadillac Blackwing. Wow. Oh, my We God. saw those um, at the car show, yeah. uh, Vincent. Uh, last, not this past year, the year before. Yeah, Blackwing. That's a serious car. We saw that at we the Palm Beach. We saw one Beach. walking around, too. But remember, we saw that yeah. at the Palm Beach uh, car show. Yeah, we saw one in New York once. The Blackwing. That's yeah. a serious car. Vincent, uh, we showed the Blackwing. If you if you go to our old of our playlist, if you're interested to check it out, we went to a car show in... Uh, Here it is. ...in last year, uh, 2023, around like February 2023. The and they Ford had Galaxy. Sunliner. Oh, my God. That's a nice car. Oh, the pebbles, yes. Cocoa pebbles. Fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles, yeah. Oh, honeycomb cereal. I ate honeycombs, of course, Pookie Six. I remember that. Yeah. I mean, I basically ate like every, almost every brand of cereal I would try. I had my favorites, but I would try like any sugary brand of cereal. You name it, and I I, I had it. Colon blow. Yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> I, I I eat that now. <laughs> I mean, when I I do like a a, a a sugary cereal. 
I have to admit. Super colon blow. James will get the regular Cheerios and I'll get the honey nut. Yeah. A lot of fun. Nico Kuzman says, good morning, James Carlin Hudson. Arriving today in New York, we, we, that's what we plan on. Yeah, if all goes according to plan. If all goes according to plan. Welcome aboard, Nico and Sonia. Oh, um, they're asking what James's favorite cereal was. He didn't have a favorite cereal. Which was uh, like plain Cheerios or Rice, or Rice Krispies. Krispies. Yeah, I didn't mind them. I, you know, when I had to eat breakfast, I ate that. But he wasn't a really, really, really big, um, you know, breakfast person. Yeah. What makeup car did Marilyn Monroe own? Robert Parker is asking. Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know which, um, I guess. James is asking maybe a Thunderbird? Oh, we're not really the sure. door with the tire on the back? Roberto um, saying just off. Mark is asking, what about health salad? It's coleslaw with vinegar and, and some oil, and you can have extra virgin that's olive oil. That's what I said. Yeah, Mark, that's a, exactly. Mark, that's a that, thank you, Mark. Mark, James is thanking you. If he does have coleslaw, that's the kind of coleslaw he has. Wow, look at those huge creams. Yeah, big creams, big building stuff. Thank you, Mark. That's what I said. The, uh, Jack Rapp said, did you ever notice on Seinfeld this cupboard was filled with all kinds of cereal? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it was almost up. almost like ridiculous. Like, you, And you really never saw him one time, I think, he ate cereal. Yeah, and they that talk was about, about it. eating cereal. When Janine Garofalo right. was his girlfriend. Right. They but then they would order cereal. cereal in the diner. Right. But, yeah, I, I always did notice that. That he would have, like, I mean, for a single guy to have, like, you know, 12 different boxes of cereal seem oh, utter, utterly ridiculous. At least 12. Like it was almost like unbelievable, you know, like it, like that was a joke. Oh, Patricia Johnson says it was a Cadillac convertible bought to her by Jack Benny. Oh, oh yeah, of course, yep. That makes sense. Nice. That's a great question. Speed limit is 70. Yeah. R.I.P. Marilyn Monroe says Amy Jo. Jack Benny. Poop exists saying hello to everybody. Vincent Padula saying make coleslaw Carla with that ch the chosen food mayo with avocado oil and it's better. Yep, nice. I could definitely could do that. sitting in an ancient auto warehouse in Santiago, Chile. Thank wow. you. Wow. So you're both right. Yeah. I knew she had one of those. Jackie B said, I love the way Kramer ate all the food. Yeah. Remember the episode, Jackie B, where where um, where um Seinfeld, Jerry says um, he's going to start charging Kramer. Yeah, that's you your know, half of the soda. For, um, you know, for all the food that he eats. And then he takes the soda. Yeah, he leaves the open he, soda. Right. He, he drinks part of it. And then, um, you know, he tells Jerry that's that, that the other half is for him. Yeah, you know? that's your half. Right, to, to not charge him for that soda because that he left half. he yeah. left half of it. Right. Yeah. Christian Van uh, Houston says, love you guys. Where are you currently? We are in Virginia. Thanks, Christian. Not too far from uh, D.C. Yep, not too far. Maybe another hour. A little over. Half an apple. Exactly, Johnny Azaria TV. <laughs> half an apple. I gave the eight half an apple. And he went to Marilyn Monroe's Thunderbird on The Amazing Race the other night. Oh, oh wow. nice. I like when Kramer gets the deli, sam deli meat sandwich in the, di in the diner, in the coffee shop, and he's slamming it down saying, this is terrible, and yeah. it's all falling apart. Oh, yeah. 
That's why he gets oh, the slicer. Adriana Rodriguez is saying good morning to everyone. No, hey, Adriana. Big truck there. Hey, look at this. The big camper pulling the smart car. Oh, the Bounder. Is that the one with the... Um, is yeah, that going to be the one with the kangaroos on the side like the of it? the one with the kangaroo. Look at that little smart car. I see it. Oh, it doesn't have a little kangaroo. No, the Bounder used to have the kangaroos on it. Yeah. Oh, well. By Fleetwood. Yep. Left lane is for passing, not cruising. So Christian is all as as it from South Africa said, love you guys. Uh all the way from South Africa. Joker. Oh said uh Table Mountain. Yeah, Joburg. James and I would love to visit Africa one day, uh especially uh go like, you know, see things um go on like a you know the safari and see all the Never do. I'd love to see giraffe. I, I'd love to see giraffe and maybe and some an elephant. The plane's what do you think? Giraffe and yeah, elephant. Yeah, and hippo. Africa. Well, hippos like they're they're, they're, they're vicious. Yeah, yeah, they could be vicious. The Gir Serengeti. <laughs> du -du -du -du. So take me away from you. <laughs> We're singing. I bless the rain. Oh my God. I bless the rain. I see a lot of blossoms all along, you know, different Blossom trees deary. blossom. Blossom deary. Oh, Jack Graff says John Howard's, Ron Howard's first car was a VW Bug that he loved. And a couple of years ago, a friend of his tracked that car down and had it restored and gifted it back to him. Oh, oh that's nice. cool. I had a VW Bug at one point. Vince Abdullah loves hippos and elephants and rhinos too. Andy Woods agrees that hippos are are, are uh, dangerous. They're the most uh, tourist deaths. Yeah, you know, for people going on safaris, that they're, they're the ones that you know, because like you think that they're just like not fast moving, that they're just you know, they're like the uh, lazing yep. around in the water. But like when they charge at you, you know, that's a that's like a ton of a ton coming at you. Yeah. Paul McDonald was in Morocco and the mosquitoes I brought back to UK in my case. Oh my oh, god. Oh nice. They have beaks, those mosquitoes. Oh the Sakura are in full bloom in New York. Yeah, we, we can't wait to see that. Hopefully they'll still be um visible uh you know tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Patricia Johnson says, as a nurse, I went to Africa three times with an anthropology professor, oh, and they nice. studied the feet of elephants. Wow. Oh, wow, nice. They walk on their tippy toes, the bones. Right, they walk on their toes, right? Yeah. To be, like, more... Well, it's all padded, yeah. Silent? Is that for silence? No, it's sort of padding for the weight. Oh, for the weight distribution. Oh. Yeah, because they're so heavy. Rev Jen says, yeah, the hippos charge very quickly. Exactly. Just like gators. Amy Joselson said, how do you like me now? <laughs> how do you like me now? How do you like me now? now? How do you like me now? Oh, Christian's not from Cape Town. I wish I was from Cape Town. I'm from Pretoria. Oh, nice. I know where that is. Here's the exit for Spotsylvania. Asin Boy says a hyena tried to chew on a hippo while I was sleeping in the water. Then it woke up and almost got the hyena in the water. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hyenas aren't your friend either. No, they're crafty, right? Yeah, wily. And I know that. Um, oh, that's a weird smell. That. Um, like fluffy. That you know what animal is surprising as well as the gentle, gentle leaf-eating giraffe. If it kicks you, you know, like an adult gi giraffe. Oh, yeah, it could be head of lion. It can decapitate a lion. Yeah, it's a powerful kick. A powerful kick. On a giraffe. That's how they defend themselves. Right, that's how they defend themselves. Because they're they're just sweet animals and they lions you know, don't bother with them. Right. They're leaf eating. You know, they're not they don't eat anything except nice little leaves yeah, but that from kick. the trees. Patricia Johnson lives in Char lived in Charlottesville for three years. Oh, nice. 
half a can of soda in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. Um, Johnny Azari is still remembering that episode. Yeah. That's oh, your Vincent Padula says that I was my nickname when I was a bodybuilder. Rhino, I was always a strong kid. Oh, cool. Nice. Jack Rapp says an elephant charged a tourist bus in Africa last week and killed an elderly woman on the oh bus. My oh, my God. Yeah, elephants. I well, saw... maybe it was an elephant that was just trying to defend its young or something like that, you know? I saw an elephant upset grab a motorcycle with its trunk and throw it like four stories in the air. Wow. They're strong. You don't want to mess with those things. Oh, Joe Beliga is in the chat. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Joe. How are you? We... We're talking about blossoming. We are still in Virginia, right? We have Blossom Deary. James, we haven't crossed over, right? No, we're still we're in Virginia. We're still in Virginia. Yes, Virginia. Oh, well, looks like this this truck got rear-ended here. Yeah, they bought all that for parts, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they all are. Yeah, you can make that, make a fortune selling parts. What's going on here, everybody? Just the road work, I think. Oh, a lane is closing, is it? Yeah, we're road work. work. Road work. Yeah. See? Wow. Remember, the elephants were there before you. Yeah, they you know, know like do it. That's their, their, their home they and their territory. They know how to handle themselves. No, 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 but you're invading their their home. Yeah. Like, it always, I, I always amaze when people take, like, the, the buffaloes, they do that too. Tourists, yeah. They get out and walk over to the buffalo. Jack Rapp says kangaroos also have a deadly kick. Oh, yeah, yeah kangaroos. Remember yeah. we watched that thing on urban kangaroos? Yeah. They're all ripped. They're like over six feet tall and they're all muscle. Vincent got to, to pet a rhino once. Oh, wow. Because uh, Vincent's uh, relative uh, worked in, a, a cousin worked in, a, in the San Diego Zoo and, she, and, he, and he fed it. Oh, that's amazing. And that, that it was felt hard like a shell, like it's um, outer, you know, like it's yeah. skin. Wow. And the emu can kick really hard. Yes, oh, wow. I know that. Yeah, emus are dangerous too. They run fast. Yeah, they're like um, they're like they're an ostrich. Fast like ostrich. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a big egg. Yeah, big egg. <laughs> Mark, we stayed at what was called Relax Inn. Relax Inn in, 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 in Virginia. Yeah. It wasn't anything, you know, uh, to write you know, home about. It's a budget hotel. Nothing Mo to, motel. Nothing motel. to clap about. Yeah, Vincent Fadula says elephants are beautiful animals. Yeah, and you know what I like about elephants is that they're so, they have a, they have, they're so soulful. Like they, yeah, they, social. and, um, you know, they really care about each other. And uh, when an elephant passes away, they mourn it. You know, like they're they're genuinely sad, and and you know they 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 have so much feelings, just like people. Yep. Oh, it looks like they just repaved this road. I don't think we need to take the express lanes, James. Do you? Where? Well, they're saying express lanes. Oh, we're gonna start soon. Oh no, we're going. They're going the wrong way right now. Anyway. Oh, okay. See that? Yeah, elephants have a very tight family bond with each other. Poopy Six is saying. That's what I said. That, that they're very soulful. Oh, look at this. Oh, it yeah. looks like a little river. Look at those clouds. Yeah, beautiful. Look at those clouds, guys. Just beautiful. Clouds. So this yeah. is for you, Oz Fly Girl. Look at those clouds. Yeah. Yeah, see the uh, express lights look like they're going the other way right now. Paul McDonough is saying, you, elephants, you can do what you want around them when they're asleep. But if it wakes up, no way. Exactly. Right. Smack you with its trunk. Yeah. Into next week. Smack you silly. No, then they charge at you, you know. Yeah, it'll smack you silly. Exactly. Yeah, I, I like elephants. Patricia Johnson says they know which herd they belong in by footsteps. Oh, nice. No way. I did not know that. No, did I you? I didn't know that either. That's great. Wow, That's I didn't challenging. realize. That's
that's what I guess that's why they were studying their feet. Yeah, that's why I love our chat. I did not know. That. I did not know that that they, that 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 they're recognizable the, by their uh, footsteps. That's the, crazy. Uh, express lanes are closed right now. They're going the other way. See, gates closed. Do not enter. Right. I I know that that James and I saw a documentary where they where a herd of elephants came upon like you know just uh, tusks. Yeah. You know, like and you they know. They were upset. And they 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 circled around it and, and they, they lifted it. and they lifted it and like sniffed at it and touched it uh, with with their with their. You know what's fascinating too? How owls fly silently. Remember yes. They don't make any uh, wind noise. Oh, Joseph Taylor checked on that accident that was affecting by Baltimore has been cleared up already. Oh, thanks, Joe. Oh, thank you, Joseph Taylor, for checking that out for us. We Joe out New Haven, that. holding it down. Brennan Nelson rode an elephant at age 10, and it oh, was an wow. incredible experience. Wow. I can imagine. That's amazing, Brenda. You'll yeah, always that remember that. That is great. Janice S. is checking in. Paul McDonough says in Morocco they'll paint homes blue because it deters mosquitoes. Oh, wow, wow, I didn't know yeah, that. I remember we saw that on a show. They're yeah. all houses were blue. I wonder if it works really good. Or... That's awesome. And do you know that also what uh, deters um, insects is painting the bottom of a tree white? Yes. Don't it make your brown eyes blue? Owls can turn their head 360 degrees. Yeah. Can you imagine if as a person we could turn our head 360 degrees? That would yeah. be crazy. Yeah. Andy Wood said, yes, owls are stealth flyers and silent hunters. Yeah, that's why they're so lethal. Yeah, they're, they're, they don't make any noise when they're flapping their wings. Right. Whereas other... Uh, birds of prey. Birds of prey use brute force and speed. Right, like a hawk. Yeah, can, can envision. Eagle eye. Yeah. Jack Rapp says Marine World took a baby orca from its mother and the mother stayed in the corner of the pool and wailed for three hours and the other orcas kept trying to rub against her and consoling her. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to hear that. That's horrible. Yeah, but they might have done that just for protection or, you know, yeah. to check on it or something. Yeah, maybe it was getting examined, hopefully. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. Just let her be with it. Yeah, but maybe it wasn't big enough, the tank or something. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Or they were afraid that the other orcas would be, you know. Yeah, that's upsetting. You know me, I'm an animal lover, so I, I don't like, you know, I, I can't help it, but like it comes up on, you know, like your feet or something like that, like all these animal stuff. And like when it's something upsetting, I just, I just can't watch it. Blue eye. Oh, so there's the easy pass stuff, see? Yeah. I think that's a lane you haven't opened. Yeah. Patricia Johnson has a fake big owl on my fence to deter birds of prey to, oh, from, cool. from attacking her little dogs. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be careful. Yeah, because if you have a little dog that, that like a chihuahua yeah. or like a little toy. No, uh, it's no joke. Right, those, like those a little, 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 um, like those Yorkshire Terrier teacup Yorkies. Yeah. That could be a snack for, uh, you know. Yeah, it's not a joke. It's for they, a hawk or and something. They can spot it like a mile hot up or something. It's crazy, the hawks. Uncle Jimmy says, I have a request. Yes, I'm In right. the future, can you stop referring to Hudson as just dog in the title of your videos? Hudson is a celebrity and should be referred to by his name always. Here, here. <laughs> you know why? You know why I, I put... People don't know who Hudson is. Some yeah. people, believe it or not... Believe it or not, that there is... There are people on this earth... That is true. ...that don't know who Hudson Uncle is. Uncle Jimmy, that is true. Uncle Jimmy, well said. But... Whoa, what is this It's funny here? because... Oh, what's going YouTube... On YouTube doesn't like when you have really long titles sometimes. And to write Hudson... Is is a couple more uh, letters well than said. dog, but you're absolutely right. He's not Uncle just Jimmy, he's not well a dog. Said. He is a well-known celebrity. You're absolutely right. And and in fact, let me show you one of the celebrity items that you could get. Here we go. Hold on. 
I mean, he is, even has his own merchandise. East Village, Hudson Station. There you go. <laughs> He's a celebrity. Beach Mom 88 says hawks can pick up big animals as well. They're, they're very strong. Yeah. Some wingspans are like six feet. Yeah. The ospreys and stuff. Yeah, Vincent, I don't even want to think about the turtle. No. The sea turtle. No. No. Vincent, we've forgotten about that. Yeah. In my mind... And I'm sure he's fine. In my mind, the sea turtle... Um, Vincent, don't mention that with Carla. Right. In my mind, the, um, the marine police found the sea turtle, were able to untangle it from the line or whatever happened with it. Police. And it's just swimming it's and it's doing its thing out there in the uh, out there in the ocean. In the sargasso grass. Exactly. Having it, have it itself a nice day. Going about its business. Patricia Johnson also has the, that t-shirt and loves it. Thank you. Oh, Jeff and STNYs uh is is uh hey, checking jeff. in hey jeff and sdny hope you're doing well this shirt was designed by julio, julio baltar. baltar steve singh says safe travels uh, who do you use an approximate cost this time of year steve sings i am so glad you joined the chat and asked that question we 25 percent off the it's always more expensive to do a one-way rental it's, I'll tell you exactly how much it's costing us. If you don't that knows, uh, somebody that's new to our chat had a very, very, very good question. And the question is, is how much is a rental car? What agency do we use? Oh, how do I get a Hudson t-shirt? George Love, we have a channel. I will, I will put up the uh, the link in the chat, but it's in the video. It's in the video description. Just give me a minute because I want to answer the question about where do we rent to the car. Hertz rental car, and I'm sure they have some agencies in Delray Beach. You can just type in Hertz. It's better not to rent from the airport because you you'll pay it, um, an extra fee if you rent a car from the airport. If you can avoid it. Um, rented from a, a uh, off-site location and we got it for $41 a day and it's a special that they're having now because they're trying to bring cars back up north from Florida we've the cheapest we've ever done it is I think coming down wasn't it on like what 25 or 30 dollars yeah, right but we've paid um We've paid like six or seven hundred dollars for three days in the past. It, it, it can be very expensive, um, like in the summertime. The summertime is a very expensive time to rent a car and drive it uh, back and forth from New York to Florida. Summertime. But uh, I would recommend Hertz. We've had a good experience, but we've also had some icky things happen. Like one time, um, our car got a flat tire. In the first 10 minutes. In the first 10 minutes. So we were suspicious. So we were suspicious about it because when we got it, we actually brought it to be repaired. We brought it to a tire place. We didn't bring it back to the rental agency because we kind of in a rush and we didn't want to go back to the airport to return it and then wait and then, and then not have a car and this and that. And the other thing, I mean, like, you know, we couldn't drive on it. The, the, the tire was completely flat. So we couldn't like drive back to the airport. We would have had to wait for a tow. So we just drove, um, we got off the highway um, Interstate 95, and we went to a tire place that was literally right off the exit. And King's we Tire. King's Tire. We bought a new tire, and the guy who took the old tire off said that they did a fantastic. No, job. but he said that 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 the tire had um, that it was dam that it wasn't damaged from us. That it it had um, it had a uh, it had been damaged, you know, previously. So like whoever returned the car ahead of time had had damaged it. And they were they tried to hide it probably or something like that. Right. And also, this is the only time that we've ever rent, uh, rented from Hertz where we did not get a full tank of gas, yep. and that was a little annoying as well. But you know, there's nothing you can do. Um, I guess you know about that. But 
anyway, um, that's hey, our experiences Roland with Hertz. Oh, there's our channel merchandise. It just came up. Nice. Um, Nightbot just put up about our channel merchandise. Oh, yeah, so George Love says, there it is. George Love, you can you copy and paste that or you just click right on that link. The HTTPS James and Carla dot creator minus sign spring dot com. And it'll take you to our channel merchandise store. We have a lot of different designs. Um, we also have not only t-shirts, we have tote bags. Let me show you this tote bag. Uh, let me uh, zoom out for a second. Hold on. Zoom out. Who's zooming who, guys? Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. I hit low power mode by accident. Hey, yikes. Hey. James, help. Hold on. Hey. What do you mean? I hit low power mode by accident. Sit on it, Potsy. Okay. So, there we go. Uh... Hudson, James and Carla. Now, now I've washed this a, a couple of times, so that's why it's more faded. But that's a that's another uh, design. We have a couple of different designs, and now they're all unisex. So you know they're for men, women, everything. Amy Jo is driving behind us. <laughs> oh, nice. Like it's going to turn off to go north. Oh. Patricia Johnson says they're all great products. I have a tote bag and a hoodie. And uh, Vincent Padula um, has not only um, has uh, hoodies um, and loves everything. And, and Vincent um, also attested to the, the quality of the merch that, that he likes it very much as well. We put up a, a picture that Vin Vincent of the. Uh, the array of his channel merch that he has. Yeah, great supporter, Vincent. Fantastic job. Dean X is checking in and saying hello to everyone in the chat. John Smith says, I'm a Hertz member and I use them mostly. Yeah, we're a Hertz member as well. In fact, we've rented so many times driving back and forth from New York to Florida and, and Florida to New York that we now have three full rental days um, that we can take advantage of as well. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. Jack Rapp says, Hurts should be paying you for bringing their car back north. Yeah, right? Yeah. Master of the house. We wish. Jeff and S. Dan Y says, I have the hoodie and the t-shirt, great quality, they're true to size, I wear them often. Yeah, just for, um, I wear a men's uh, unisex size small, James wears an extra large, if that um, helps you um, with, with sizing. They do have a size chart, and I would say that's very true to size. And there's even dog merchandise. Yeah. There's Hudson t-shirts as well. Of Hudson. Oh, here's the Quantico Museum. Yes, the Quantico. This is the uh, Marines for the Marines. Yeah, Marines. My dad, RIP, was a Marine. Look at those clouds, guys. Mighty Bull is back in the house. Let's keep rolling. Boom, boom, boom. Mighty Bull's in the room. Oh, um, MN says uh, ahead there'll be a slowdown near Newington. A brief slowdown. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Thank you, MN. MN, we'll look it out. There it is. The Quantico. It's a very unique design. Yeah, it is. It's cool. D-Next, we do plan on arriving in New York City today. If all goes according to plan, that's our, that's, yeah. we will. Yep, just got to go with the flow, guys. You got to, sometimes this evening. life's a cinch. Yard by yard, life is hard. You got to just go, move like water. Well, Akira says, I love going on long rides with you. It's so uh, uh, relaxing. Go with the flow, guys. Or, or is it mail care? Either one. Yeah. 
left lane is. Thank you, uh, mail care. Mail care, nice job. Left lane is for passing, not for cruising. Cruising. Gotta Remember. cruise the miracle mile. Yeah. Welcome back to the age of jive. Remember well, that. where have you been hiding out lately, honey? You can't trash trashy till you spend a lot of money. Pop. Next wave, new wave, Great. dance crazy, anyways, it's still rock and roll to me. All right, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> That's for all you Billy Joel fans out there. That's yeah, my you know, little song. We're, we're huge Billy Joel fans. Who well, I think Billy Joel gets slept on. Oh, it's mail care. Okay. I didn't want to say it wrong and then somebody say, oh, don't, don't, don't call yeah, me like that. Yeah, like you were saying, but first coffee, you're saying, but first coffee. Exactly. I was putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> we have every single Billy Joel album on vinyl, I believe. Yeah. Except oh, the, the news was album. showing the old Hertz commercial with the O.J. Simpson. Oh, I didn't even remember that he yeah, was a spokesperson. what a tragic mess that is. I, I don't even want to. Yeah, you know. Just, I have his old football card. That's that's what I'm going to think about. Mint condition is football card from 1975 or something. Are you guys going to stop by and drive through the Baltimore hoods, LOL? Johnny, not this time. I would love to. We would love to do that, but... We just don't have the time right now. Right, we really do have to get back to New York. The longer we dilly-dally um, and do sightseeing along the way, the more tired we will be for tomorrow. And, uh, you know... We, well, Monday we got to hit the road running. Right, and Monday we want to, you know, start start our working on our projects. Beach Bum 88 says it's nice to be in the back seat with Hudson. He's a sweet boy. Thank Jump you. his head on your lap. Let me show you guys. He's a perfect gentleman and travel companion. As you see, the sun, there's not really any sun on him anymore. He Here has he his travel dossier, his travel documents, his carnet passage, his passaporte. Keith uh, Haven says, I think this is around the fourth round trip from New York to Florida. I've taken over with oh, J&K. What's happening over there? Hard to say. Looks like he was going to help you. Oh, I didn't even know LaDonna Scott saying you're going to watch the Billy Joel concert on CBS this Sunday. Oh, wow. I'd love to. He's going to be on national TV. I didn't even know. Well, maybe we'll get it through our Apple TV. Yeah, that would be cool. Because we don't have cable in the city. We just have what is he doing? What are, the, what are they doing? Live from the garden? Or is this his last garden show? Is this his last show? Or what's what's going on? I'm, we're not... You know, we're, we're out of touch. You know, like we're that... We're out that, of touch. touch. We're out of time. Out of touch. Out, out of touch. touch. You're out, out of touch. touch. Guys, to, to, do, you, do you know who that's... Who sings that song of there? Of course they do. But what is... Yeah, what's, the, what's this Billy Joel concert all about? Wendy's asking any possibility you'll be back in Florida this summer. Uh, we hope so, Wendy. That's our plan. Yep. Uh, we It's really too early to tell our exact schedule, but that's our plan. That's our plan. George Love will be streaming as long as we need to drive. So until we until we pull up until to our to our uh, you know First to re Avenue, to return our to return uh, you know Usually our car. Usually we sign off on First Avenue and right. 12th Street. We usually we sign off in the East Village uh, as we're nearing our apartment because what we do is we unload the car first yeah. and then we have to go and give it back. Yeah, we have to bring everything up to the 10th floor on a street that doesn't have any parking and you can't drive on. So, you know, and it'll be raining. Carol is checking in. Oh, MN says uh, there's three areas of slowdown. Not sure if the express lanes are warranted. They're closed. If someone else can provide a second opinion, it would be uh, the, appreciated. The express lanes are mute because moot because it's closed. Right, the express lanes they have it going to the other direction, so we don't have a choice. We have to stay with um, no express lanes right now. But thank you for MN for checking it out. But it looks like we won't need the easy pass through this section because we don't have an option to get on the toll anyway. You're out of touch. All the originals, how far, how far along are we guys are? I'm watching from work. 
We are. Oh, Brenda Nelson's marker. predicting 5:50 p.m. for the arrival. Now remember, that's a good job, remember, Brenda. Mark said what six? Yeah. He predicted yesterday. Yeah, that's a good job, Brenda. I like that. I'd, I'd sign up for that right now. We're at uh, let's find a mile marker. Let him know. Exit where we 156B, are. if that helps. We're at mile marker. Amy Jo says hauling oats. Exactly. You got that. Yeah, Out of touch. We're Marker 156, I believe. Yeah, 155.4. Out of touch, out of touch. This is a rest area, but we don't we don't need to rest right now. Oh yeah. Beach Mom idiot, we do not have Roku. Uh what is we, Roku? You know, a streaming thing. Oh, gotcha. we have um, uh, prison. No, 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 no. For 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 watching TV. Oh, we, we have, have uh, TV Prime or whatever. Apple TV. We have uh, the we have the Apple TV and uh, hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Allergies, guys. Look at those bridge sections there on the trucks. Dale City, Ripon Landing. Okay. We have Netflix that we get uh, courtesy because we have T-Mobile and T-Mobile gives you free Netflix with your T-Mobile gold star, you know, plan. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, when we passed by Bucky's, it was pouring rain. So uh, no, no. Um, so we didn't, uh, we didn't, uh, we didn't go to Bucky's because it was pouring rain. Uh, there was a tornado watch in Daytona Beach. Well, oh, I did boy, stop at Pedro's and put up some stickers. Right when we when we passed by the Bucky's, it was a tornado watch. So we didn't want to uh, stop and get out of the car. We kind of wanted to drive and get out of that bad weather as quick as we could. Robert Parker says the first ever concert you went to was Billy Joel at Madison Square Garden. Nice. Oh, B Billy Joel recorded the show at MSG a couple of weeks ago, but it will be airing on Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. not sure what network. Oh, so it might not be free. Oh, I got you. But I'm sure he'll release it. Wendy says we're about 250 miles from New York City. Thank you for that, Wendy. Thanks, Wendy. That's encouraging. Mark said, yes, I did say I predicted 6 p.m. Extra good. Some lumber. Big truck full of lumber. Pookie Six saw Billy Joel at the Carver Hawkeye Arena in the 80s. So good. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, Billy Joel's awesome. Yeah, Mark said you're making good time today. Yeah, knock on uh, knock on plastic. Yeah, knock wood. Touch wood. Knock on wood. Knock, knock, knock on wood. wood. Uh-oh. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, she's going to be showing on CBS. Nice. And can be live streamed on Paramount Plus. Oh, we don't have that. Oh, Roberto was looking forward to the feast. Roberto, we, 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 I can't even think that far ahead oh to my September. God, my God. The feast. Oh, that would be nice. Though. LaDonna Scott says, uh, yes, it will be shown on, on this CBS. This is where uh, we were warned. Elizabeth Horn said, out, Chris right? and I have been listening since uh, 10 Eastern, enjoying the road trip. Thank nice. you. Remember? Wendy is going to uh, say 5.30 p.m. ETA. Nice. That's, oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, Thank you, that, Wendy. That's very uh, good. I'll good, sign up for that, too. Hopeful. James is liking all these estimates because, you know, James is always like, Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Anything can happen on this trip. I yeah. say it a hundred times. You could be uh, an hour outside the city and have traffic stop for two hours. 
Anything can happen. You get all encouraged. You're ready. You can't get frustrated. Vincent says, I work too much. No time for movies. The nature of the beast. Yeah. Uh, you know, Vincent, the la- I, I, James and I haven't been to a movie theater to see a movie in quite a long time. We saw Star Wars, I think, was our last one. Yeah. One of the most recent Star Wars. And it was blurry. Kips Bay. See, I for left lane is passing, not for cruising, so that doesn't say much. Remember that eighties movie, Al Pacino cruising? That was the name of it. Oh, I don't yeah, remember that cruising, one. Yeah. Yeah, just the allergies. They get all the pollen in the air. They took care of it. Jack Rapp says flexibility is the key to taking long trips, whether driving, flying, or otherwise. Oh, in life, yeah. Jack. Yeah, like you just can't, you know, you can't get upset if uh, things go sideways. You have to just uh, adapt. Yeah. Right, James? Adapt. Oh, yeah. Don't count your miles before they're driven. Vince Padula says take your time. Well, the highway is crazy. Sometimes you'll never know. It's yeah, true that. Ever, ever, ever know. Look at those clouds go, go, guys. Isn't that crazy? Hey, look at that bridge. Pretty. Yeah. Brenda says the last movie we saw was Logan Wolverine many years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that movie. Yeah, Beach Mom 88 says once it airs, you might find it on YouTube. That's true. Yeah. Traffic is moving about 57 miles per hour. We're kind of shuffling along here. It's fine. It's open. I don't know why we're... Things got a little slow through here. We're heading north, 95. Is it just this trucks in particular? Like you think... Because um, it looks open, you know what I mean? That's what I said, yeah. I think so. Yeah. A lot of people are looking forward to seeing Billy Joel uh, perform on Sunday. Yeah, that should be great. We're gonna we're gonna try to check that out. Mark said, if we continue making good time like this, uh, that he might have to change his ETA till five thirty. No, Mark, don't. Don't, uh... Oh, here's Lorton, Virginia in one mile. So, guys, if you were to take the auto train, this is where, in one mile, is where you would be let off the, the auto train. I should have your the exit for the, to the train. That's your exit. See, the Amtrak auto train. The train so, the train. you still have to drive from Lorton, Virginia to New York. So it's not like it eliminates the drive, but it just lessens the amount of drive time. Now you would have gotten, the auto train usually arrives in Lorton, Virginia like around um, 9 o'clock in the morning. Yes. But depending whether you tip the guy that put your car on the, on the train, right. um, uh, the order of how you're gonna your car would be unloaded, you might stay there a half hour, an hour waiting for the thing to unload. So, um, you know, you could be beating with us up up in the road right now is basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. So, the traffic has begun, guys. But someone said look out for this. Yeah. 
I see it. It's just congestion. Mm. Now, when we explained before, people ask why you don't take the auto train. There's a couple of reasons. Um, number one, that James uh, likes to drive. Number two, that affords us a lot more flexibility of when, when we're going to leave and what we're going to do. You know, we can decide the day ahead of time, let's leave tomorrow. Yeah. Whereas if we need to uh, make an advanced reservation for, uh, you know, the auto train, we couldn't, we wouldn't have that flexibility. Number three, it's just easier when you're traveling with a dog to just have your uh, a car that you can rent and you put the dog in the car. You don't have to worry about, you know, auto train. I, I imagine they'd have to allow a service animal, but I mean, I don't really think it's a, it's a good place for a service animal or, yeah, or a dog to to because what if they got to go to the bathroom? I mean, it's not like the train stops. It doesn't. It keeps on going. I, I've been on it, so I, I know for sure that it does not make a stop overnight. So that's a long, that's a many hours for the dog to be on a train and not, you know, be able to relieve himself yep. or herself. Kiana Maria said this is normal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, normal weekday traffic. Usual and customary. Exactly. But we're not, you know, we're not upset about this. It's fine. Yeah, Vincent Padula says James is just a car guy. It's in his blood. He likes to drive. I'm the same way. Yeah. Wendy agrees. The rental car is the way to go for Sweet Boy Hudson. Let me show you Sweet Boy Hudson. You gotta think of Hudson. It's all about Hudson, the king. The king. Jack Rapp says, I don't like being a passenger in a car. I always prefer being the driver. Exactly. James is the same way, Jack. I'm a terrible passenger. Because, you know, you guys have asked Carla, why don't you drive? Why don't you trade and off? And I get car sick. You know, why don't, why don't you do some of I the driving? I can't sit in the back. Hey, look at oh, the wow. Canadian Pacific. Oh, Did you see that? But, yeah, I don't know if they saw it. It yeah. was a uh, freight. Yeah. Locomotive. Anyway, um, Canadian Pacific locomotive. Justine is saying boop camp. Go ahead, do a boop camp. I'm I'm tethered oh, right yeah, now. You're charging you. I got well. We DC went, line via 395, 13 miles, 17. If I minutes. sit in the back seat for too long, I get car sick. Or a yeah. passenger seat, really. I gotta keep rolling down the window, get fresh air. Yeah, James really does Terrible not like passenger. being a passenger. He'll do it if he's not, you know, exhausted. I mean, I have driven. Oh, yeah. Well, it's different because we know but, each other. But, so. you know, um, no, no, but, you know, even so, most of the time that we've done the drives, like of all yeah. the, I don't know, countless. I mean, we've done this drive countless times since, you know, since the 90s we've been doing this. Yeah. I would say um, that 90% of that, yeah. or maybe 95% actually, yeah. probably you were driving. Yeah. Google says uh, four hours and 30 minutes from New York City to Lawton, Virginia. How about from Lawton to New York City? That's, that's always, you know, yeah, that's one direction difference. can be different than the other. Yeah. Hey, look, they painted that Subaru like Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, I see that. Look at that, guys. Huggy Bear. Look at a Starsky and Hutch Subaru. Joseph Taylor says Hudson looks bored. No, I think he's just, you know, he's just sleepy. Yeah, he's in the groove. He's a very good boy. I'm, I'm reaching back and I'm giving a little pet right now. We'll give him a nice walk tonight. He'll love it. Find the pizza crusts and... And his friend. Mark said that that time doesn't doesn't even allow for you for getting gas or taking a restroom break or anything no, like that. No, no, no. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. I mean, we we have to walk Hudson, you know. You're out of touch. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. It's a uh, fence, razor wire there like uh what yeah. are they protecting there? What does that say? No trespassing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, because of the oil. Oh, yeah. That's why. Oil. Back Lick Road. James, oil. That's what they're protecting. Yeah. Money. That's called money yeah, right that's there. Money sitting there. Yeah. There you go, money. Piles of money. Piles of money. 
James is like, why do they have a barbed wire fence here? I'm like, well, because of well, I this. I couldn't see the tanks. Right, he, she didn't, you, he didn't see the tanks. And I'm like, that's because there's piles of money sitting there. <laughs> CP Rail is now CPKC after its merger with KC Railway. Oh, thanks, uh, JD here. We didn't know that. Thanks, JD here. Nice job. David Dunn says he's anticipating the New York Groove. Justine says Huggy Bear. Aw, Hudson Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. Jack Rapp says, I opted out of carpooling when I was working, even though it would have saved me a considerable amount of money. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we totally understand because, like, you just want to be the one that's driving every time. Yeah, James is like, I, I always would say, James, um, are you one of those drivers that when you're passenger, you know, like you're gripping the pretend the steering wheel. The phantom brake. You're gripping the pretend steering wheel. You're, 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 you know, you're. Slamming the uh, you're, phantom brake. Right. You're, you're, putting, pedal. you're putting your foot down as if you have a brake or gas or. Yeah, I'm a guilty. Same. Oh, Cecilia Wilson's just joining in. Where are you guys? Uh, we're still in Virginia. Yep. Uh, we're getting close to Washington, D.C. There's a Gulf wagon. You don't really see those too often. VW Gulf oh, wagon. Oh, no, Joseph Taylor, we're not going to go go by where that bridge went down. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to go anywhere near there. We're going to stay on uh, 95. That was a terrible tragedy. You don't see golf wagons often. No. I thought it was a Passat wagon or something. See, now he has an easy pass left express lane. No, they're lanes. closed still, though. Yep. So we don't even have to make the decision. Then justify. James had to justify last time. Remember yeah, I see there. X, 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 X. There's the Starsky and Hutch Subaru. Yeah. Vincent says, I'm a one-foot pedal guy. I can't do two pedals at the same time, not me. Yeah. Franconia, look, like New Hampshire. Yeah. We made it far. Oh, we overshot it. Oh, you mean for like driving an automatic? When when I drive an automatic, I, I, I definitely switch to the... Um, Where am I going? I just stay, stay here, here now. Right? If there was any problems, it would say so. We had 95, right? Baltimore. Straight yeah. on this lane, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just use one foot when I'm driving an automatic, but obviously use two feet when I'm driving yeah, a stick. Yeah, stick, yeah. Carla has a stick. M3. I think it's more like the... Over there? Yep. You know, I think oh, it... No, no, we're good. We're good. It we're doesn't good. really matter. No, we're good. 495. Think, right. This is what we want. 95. Yeah. Oh, no. You're talking about the European thing. It's big over there with VW cars. Oh. Oh, the wagon? Yeah. Yeah. The Cayenne Maria says the easy plane pass lanes flip to go nice. south at around 10 a.m. Oh, gotcha. The uh, Gulf wagon looked nice. I liked it. Oh, Henrique Massant is saying hello. Hey, Henrique. Hey, Henrique. Hi, thanks for joining. Welcome aboard to the back seat. Friday, and we're driving along. We're making way. I'm going to get around Green Drop. What do you think? I get yeah. Chance? I'm sure everybody's tired of seeing Green Drop. Yeah, they like to see it, see the view, and with Green Drop, we don't have a nice view. Yep. Because soon we'll be able to see DC and everything. Yep. Guys, Jeez. soon we'll be able to see, I don't know how well you'll see it because there is a lot of clouds today, 
but you'll be able to see uh, yeah, clouds from my in the distance, uh, like, you know, perhaps the Capitol building, perhaps the um, Washington Monument. Yeah, nice. I was thinking of that, too. I'm going to just take this off for a second. So this, wow, look at that. Look at the gimbal. It wants to, uh, yeah, it doesn't know what the heck to do. Yeah, Hold on. it doesn't on. know which way is up right now. There we go. There we go. Aiden P says there's 300 passengers driving with us. Yeah, the back seat's crowded, guys. Yeah. We get to rotate who has Hudson's head on their lap. Yeah, and pizza box. I can't go to work. I got Hudson's head on my lap. And pizza box. Yeah. Oh, Tom Sudgens is just catching up from Missouri back uh, with your adventures back to New York City. Nice. We're in Virginia. Oh, Emin has to hop out for a bit, but we'll be back later. Okay, thank right. you, Emin. Yeah, just uh, wave a flag when you're ready to get jump back in. We'll pick you up. I can't see who's there. There, okay. There we go. Amy Joe saying we're having fun with you guys. Thank you, Amy Joe. So you stay right here. Drawbridge is five and a half miles. Nice. So what I did is to prepare myself, I took the uh, the battery thing out, so that way I could uh, show, show side, yeah. if if we can see anything. Hard to say with these clouds. It is very cloudy. The, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, well, you got five miles if you. Yeah. Well, you only see it, right? Oh, here it is, right? Coming up five miles. But but first, coffee says, okay, back I'm back now. I needed a break. Nice. But first, coffee. Yep. <laughs> Not but first coffee. But first, coffee. Yeah, no, you have to ask what first coffee. I think that might city. have been, I think I saw some wisteria blooming. I what saw some coffee? purple. Yeah, it would be recommended. Vincent says, I'd have Hudson on my lap anytime. Oh, but first coffee. Coffee. We're get, we're right outside uh, DC. We're gonna in five miles will be the drawbridge. Yeah, we'll be finishing Virginia. And we'll be crossing into Maryland. Heidi and Elisa Pella just sent us three euros. Uh, Thank Heidi, you, Heidi. Job. Oh. Nice seeing you, Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Extra, extra good. Sweet boy Hudson's in the back. There he is. I showing you his face. There he is. Thank you, Heidi. Hope you're doing Thanks, well Heidi. today. Thanks for joining us for day of our road trip here. Oh, but first, coffee says, James, when you're back in New York City, do you go to Puerto Rico coffee? Oh, uh, of course. Of course. That's one of our favorites, and our uh, other favorite is McNulty tea and coffee. Yep. But Puerto Rico, definitely. Puerto Rico has... Both the St. Mark's and the Bleecker. Well, the Puerto Rico coffee, you know what's that's great, and they have a great bargain, is to actually not only buy um, buy coffee beans, beans, or you know, or or have them grind it, but you can get a fresh cup of coffee brewed, and it's a very reasonable price. Yeah, yeah, in the and you're supporting a mom and pop place. Yeah, we sometimes I get we the know the tea. we know the owner Peter Longo. I'm sure you um, you probably have met him. I I mean, uh, you know, I imagine you do. You would because uh, you're a coffee person, but yeah, the owner Peter Longo is extra extra good. We've not only uh, highlighted it in our storefront NYC book, but we've uh, we've live streamed from there. We've shown their beautiful store. Got to get around the oversized load. Share the load. The load. Robert Parker said, please refer, re refrain from using the word coffee as it's making me, you know, yeah, what coffee? a hankering. Yeah. Now, guys, all these buildings that you see coming up on the left, like when James and I were first making the drive back back and forth to Florida. They weren't here. They weren't here. None, None of them. This None was of them like, were here. This was empty. This was totally not built up. But I would say within the last five to seven years, they've all popped up. 
Certainly, like in the last decade. Yeah. There, none of this was here. Isn't that neat? Look at it. It's and then, the, and there's a jail over here. And we always wonder, we're like, when they started to get built, we're like, who wants to live right next door to a jail? And you see, there's the jail. That's that's that. The brick thing. It's a brick that brick thing. And then there's a condos. One to three bedroom uh, apartments, and they're they're literally right next to the jail. And I'm like, wow. Um, yeah. Such a odd choice of uh, yeah. where you would choose to live. You know, unless you worked at the jail, maybe that's convenient then. Yeah, then you step out your door. Jack Rap knows. Now you're going to see a lot of flyovers, as you see here. What the hell is that? Oh, consider taking a break. Yep. But first, coffee saying love the clouds. Yeah, aren't the clouds amazing today, guys? Coffee is a diuretic. If you drink a lot, you'll, you'll have uh, DC. It will be to our left if we are. So this is the Woodrow Wilson Memorial Bridge. Yep. It's a drawbridge. Ravisha Suda saying hi. Charlotte Day is saying hey, hey from the National Harbor. Oh, it's the, oh, right there right on the right. right. Oh, we're waving hi to you, Charlotte. You're right there over to the right. Nice. Our beeps. Do you hear us? Not yet. Not yet. Right. Wait, wait till we get closer on, on to the other side because we're still... Uh, oh, yes, I see the Capitol building. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see the Washington Monument in the distance. I'm going to zoom a little bit as best I can. Do you guys see the Washington Monument? Even though there's cloudy, it's there. Yeah, I see the Capitol. I see the Washington Monument. The, the Washington Monument is to your left. That's the big needle-looking thing. And the other big uh, right uh, uh, building to the right, all the way Obelisk. to the right, is the... Uh, the capital. Oh, there's the harbor over there. Yeah, there's that's the, the National uh, Ferris Harbor. Wheel. Yep. I know. I'll, I'll hey, look, guys, everybody stand up. Stand in front of your chair. Maryland welcomes you, honey. Maryland welcomes you. To Maryland. Welcome to Maryland. And, guys, there's National Harbor. There it is. We're waving hi. Yeah, I'll beep. Do you hear me? There's the Ferris wheel. Nice. There's National Harbor the again. MGM Grand Let me show you in the National Harbor again. And there we go. There we go. I'm gonna zoom out now. I was zoomed in so you can see the Who's Capitol building. Who? There's the MGM. Ah, oh, they loved it. Love, love, loved it. Perfect, James. Can you hold that for one uno momento? Yep. Perfect. Got it. Hold it now. Hit it. All right. So guess what, guys? Florida, state one. Check. check. Georgia, state two. Check. check. South Carolina, state three. Check. check. North Carolina, state four. Check. check. Virginia, State 5, check. check. Maryland, State 6, Cur currently, Current. in, currently in check. So we're in our sixth state of the trip. Christian Hans says, are we there yet? Hello, Andy, <laughs> Carla, Uncle James, plus Hans, want to say yesterday, want to say hi, but you two prevented me. Oh, well, glad what you're here now, Christian. Yeah. Are you still subscribed, Christian? Sometimes they mess it up. Oh, JD here says you've probably been asked this, but what was your stopover last night? Oh, no problem. We don't mind. Um, we stayed in Virginia. We uh, got off uh, the Interstate 95 around um, 11.30 p.m. I did a uh, online booking, and we stayed um, in Virginia oh. at, like, a budget budget motel. Nothing, yeah, you know, nothing, nothing, fancy, that's nothing sure. fancy. I did a room tour yeah. for everyone that's a... <laughs> Patreon and YouTube See. member. Yeah, I did. A uh, Patreon and YouTube member. We will putting be putting up a uh, a special video of our a room tour. Yeah, guys, you know, one of the perks of membership of being a YouTube and Patreon member, and you know, at, at the higher levels, is you get access to exclusive videos that we don't uh, make public. 
to the rest of the viewing public. It's you know, it's just an extra little perk. Plus behind the scenes photos and other things. Our monthly live chat that we do, you know, where we give you an update of our travel plans and what, what's ahead for the month. At any rate, um, we'll be putting that up so you can see the actual room if you're interested. Yeah, JD here says, I don't need a fancy place for an overnight sleep. Yeah, we, we were going on vacation. Yeah, you know? we didn't need a resort. Yeah, we don't need a resort. I don't need a swimming pool. I don't need, uh, you know... I don't, towel massage. Yeah, I, I, I don't need room service. I don't, I don't need all that kind of stuff. Aromatherapy. I mean, honestly, this was about the lowest budget hotel that I would care to stay in. Because the, the room itself was clean. Like, the floors were clean. The bed was clean. Um, it was comfortable up. to sleep on. The bed was decently comfortable because we've slept on some uncomfortable ones. Um, the bathroom was something to be desired. It needed serious updating and cleaning. Yeah. But um, it was workable. So There's a nice Civic SI. For $65, that's what we paid. Yeah. $65, that was including tax. It was, um, you know, a good. Yeah. Good That's to good. get some rest. Uh, we got a decent amount of sleep. Uh, probably about, um, maybe, uh, seven hours, seven maybe, hours, maybe seven. nearly seven hours, six and a half to seven hours, which is, you know, a decent amount. Yeah, when you're traveling, sure. Yeah, it's a place to rest, exactly. It's not a place to, like, camp out at. No. I wouldn't, you know, bring your family there. Yeah. And be like, oh, wow, we're so excited to stay here. No. Bring a, uh, you know, portable pizza oven or something. Hudson left his pizza oven in the car. <laughs> so it, it suited the purpose, is what I would say. Was it a Red Roof Inn? Manchan, it was a family-owned place. It might have been a Red Roof Inn at one time. In one carnation. But it was owned, it's owned by a family. So that's why kind of we like it too, that it's like family run. You know, help support a hardworking uh, family. Yeah, they gave you a bar soap. Yes, they did. Bar soap, yep. You know, whereas when we stay at the Aloft hotel that we've stayed in the Aloft. Yeah, it's soft They soap. give you like uh, premium soaps. Like I forget the name brand oh, one, yeah, but nice it was soap. like. You know, expensive, not Aesop, which Body is wash. super expensive, but kind of like Aesop. Yeah. You know, those expensive soaps. None of that. You know, you don't get any of that. Uh, a dispenser of Gorilla Glue. It did have a big screen TV, but we never even turned the TV on, to be honest. No. No. Cecilia Wilson just purchased the Hudson East Village Station t-shirt. Nice, Steel Cecilia Gray. Wilson. I really appreciate what you do and give hours of entertainment and useful inf information. Oh, Cecilia, let me say thank you. Thanks, Cecilia. Look, this is a, this isn't in black, but the steel gray is just like a light, a nice. little lighter than this, and uh, there it is. Yeah, it'll be nicer for the summer. Oh, extra good. Glad. And Cecilia, if you feel like it, no pressure, but if you would like to take a picture of you wearing it, uh, send it, email yeah, us, on the, on the community and page. we'll put it up on the community page. But don't feel pressure to do so. If you want to. If you want to show the world, um, we'll put it up. If, you, if you'd rather not, that's fine too. But first, Coffee says that's an adorable shirt. Yeah, this, this design was designed by our wonderful channel supporter, Julio Baltar, who, was Uruguay. A, who lives in Uruguay. And we met him. He came to New York City. We met him. Fantastic and guy. We, he came to our book signing event for our, our bookstore for and NYC. We went shopping with Yep, uh, and we had this. That was the second time we met him, and he handed us um, these designs. And he said, "Oh, guys, I've been working on these." And we he have just, one more still. He to just add. did it for the love, you know. Like he Honey, didn't he didn't ask more. us for any money no. to do this or anything. He just, just for the love he of just Hudson. loves our channel and he loves Sweet Boy Hudson so much. He did this for but us. But there's still one new design that we haven't even premiered yet. Right, because uh, we We've just got, got busy. busy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But because you know the way spring works is like. He gave us a, 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 the design, but Spring has I have all to these adapt it to their, right has all these specifications of like to upload it. Yeah, but it, it's not a big deal. It's just a little time consuming. Look at Navy Air Force, nice. 
big water tower there. Wow. But first, Coffee says, how long do you plan on staying in New York City for now? Um, no, I can't just think that far ahead. I don't know, maybe like two months or so, maybe three. I don't. I'm not really sure. Um, it really depends on our work schedule, but our plan is uh, we get our work started. We have we usually schedule work our our um, work assignments in Florida in July and August. But I mean, we haven't gotten that far in in our advance in our schedule. We're just getting set up, going back to New York City now, so it's going to take us a while. Usually, we book um, about one, about six to eight weeks ahead of time. We'll know. There's a TRD. Oh, thank you, Vincent. Vincent said he sent a picture of all the merch that he bought, and we put it up on the community page. It's extra good. Yeah, Vincent, that's great. Do you have a broccoli shirt? No, Cecilia Wilson. That's funny that you oh, asked. I should make a broccoli, says. Yeah. Just and an angry Hudson, broccoli. No, Hudson having with the broccoli yeah, the by mouth. his mouth. Yeah. No, but I'd like an angry broccoli face saying broccoli says with yeah. Hudson hiding behind it. God, I want to do so much. Van Shane says you don't mind being in Florida during hurricane season. Oh, no. We've been down there. For we've that. been down there. We've brave. We've. We've uh, been uh, many, many a summer. Carlos there for Andrew. Yeah, I happened to be down, uh, down uh, during uh, Hurricane the big Andrew. One. Yeah. That's getting warm, no? Yeah, they said, uh, you know, two hundred and something mile per hour winds. What's the? Uh, let me see, guys. Can you tell me in the chat what the current temperature right now no, in Washington D.C. is? No, 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 don't. no, no. I got New York. Don't. Yeah. Michael Gregoire says, I remember that it takes approximately four hours to drive from Maryland to New York. Yeah, but that's without traffic, Michael. That's what you're forgetting to factor in. That Anything we're going to be happen. hitting rush hour, I you know? I hate to think of it in terms of time. Yeah. I like to be more philosophical that it's the journey. No, I, but first coffee, I wouldn't call us a snowbird because snowbirds don't go, go down to Florida or in, in the summer. Snowbirds only go to Florida in the winter, so we are definitely not a snowbird. Ann Murray, snowbird, right? Right, but we're definitely, we would definitely not call us a snowbird that song, snowbird? because snowbirds would not be in Florida in the summertime. When the snowbird. 55 degrees Fahrenheit right now, 66 in DC. Oh, so there, oh, okay. there's, uh, you know, it, it run, runs the gamut. Everyone's saying 66 now. Sherry Gatsky says it's so fun driving with everyone. Sherry, gl glad you're in the back seat. Let me show you sweet boy Hudson. Here he is. You see, he guard he stays next to the cooler. He stays on his pizza blanket next to the cooler because he's like, guys, when's it snack time? Where are we now? This is a big uh, outlet mall or mall over here. Yeah, we're doing great, Amy Joe. Ho hope you are too. It's 18 degrees Celsius in Holland right now, Justine. Clara W is also agreeing on the temperature, so you're on the very temperate side. Should feel good. Good cars are heat up from the sun. Yeah, we got the black interior. And I'm baking in the sun right now. The sun's on me. I'm on my lap. Watching the sun bake. All of the tourists covered in oil. Manchan said, you're, you're not snowbirds. You're not transplants. Are you migrants? Now, Manchan, we're, we're what, what we call independent contractors. Yeah. We... we we uh, we run Dreaming. our right. We run our own business and we and we travel um, for work. That was a great so, album. Journey you know we're we're back and forth. We're we're here and there. Yeah, I love that album. So that's what I would Whoa. call us. Whoa! Look at that Audi. Whoa! Cutting and weaving. We're what 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 we call independent contractor. Wow! That was a he cut in there close. You know our photography career. Um, let, let's. Lets us uh, the flexibility that we uh, can go back and forth, but we tend to like to group it into like instead of going back and forth on a daily basis. Like some people, like they travel, like they're in a different city every single day. 
you know, like for work. Yeah, we used to. I mean, that, that's like, when you have a dog, oh. I think that's tough. Don't yeah. you agree, James? That would be hard, hard to bring a dog with you Where? if you travel to a different city every single day. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. So what we like to do is, like, we like to group group it in, like, groupings of, of, a, of you know, two months here, three, two, three months there, whatever, you know, like, do it in groupings so that way, you know, it's not so much um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, turmoil for, for Hudson. Because it's all about Hudson, guys. Hudson's our dog, and he likes a routine. He doesn't like it when his routine gets upset. Right. It's a good way of putting it. Manchad understands an independent contractor on perpetual tour. Exactly. We're on Ex a war tour. Right. And our, the thing with that is it can change. Now this year, James and I had planned on doing a lot of traveling and we were all set. In fact, we were doing research and we were making well, all these, is bananas right, now. right. we were making just... all these travel plans for April, May, June. We had planned to like drive to, um, yep. you know, maybe uh, do some, uh, not all the way across the country, but some explore some different cities. But then we got, um, we got a new book deal to do a book at, yeah, um, we asked to. about New York. Um, and Guys, when you uh, get offered a book, you take it. Right. When you get offered a book deal, you know, you're, you don't say no. Yeah, you got to take it. Out. It's not going to come every day. Mighty Bull said, what did the bull do with the telescope? It tried to spot the perfect pasture for grazing. Ah. <laughs> But First Coffee says, oh, yes, yeah, so you guys are photographers. Yes, we are architectural and interior photography. Uh, you know, that's our specialty. You know, we don't do wedding wedding photos or anything like that. Where our specialty is architectural photography and interior photography. Interior meaning interior of apartments, buildings, uh, interior things. In a place called sometimes Cucumber. there's people. Sometimes the interiors don't involve people. More often, not people than than people. Oh, and Hudson's a pizza contractor. Well, of course. Of course he is. Exactly. He's got a rider. Yep. Manchan says a book deal provides bookings. Exactly. That's that's the thing, man, Shan. You know, when you have a books t as a photographer, when you have photography books, you know, for your name, it's like instant advertising. It's yeah, you know, it's people. A big ad. It's a big ad for your work, and then people say, "Oh my God, I love that book. I would love to hire those guys to do my photography." And that's how we've gotten a lot of our jobs. Wow, look at this small little Chevy. What is that? That's the spark. So oh, guys, we have hit a, a part electric, right? We've had uh, we've had a little traffic snarl. Yeah, but this is common. It's, I'm not, you know. No, no, I don't think that's. I think that's the volt, right? Yeah, that's electric. No, that was the spark. Oh, okay. But the spark, I think, is a hybrid. Tolga uh, Mimisglo is saying hello. Hey, Tolga. Desi Des says on the road again. Good to old New York City. You yeah, got you it. Yeah, this is customary through here, guys. You're gonna hit this. Oh, I we sc I scrolled up. I missed what you typed. Okay, hold on. But first coffee, exactly. Um. Hold on, while we shoot photography. I'm trying to scroll back. It's hard when you're um, when you're holding a gimbal. Jason Morris said this is the best way to uh, to travel. Yeah. Oh, that Audi almost gave um, James a close shave. Yeah, yeah you, he did. you noticed he, that, right? A little chin music. He gave me a chin check. Everything to shoot um, beverages. Oh, yeah. Coffee and design with coffee. Ah. Nice. Yeah, you know that that is a whole different specialty. We've we done have very little of that. We We've have done it. we have done that. We do we have done some food, yeah. and we're totally capable of doing that. Oh, yeah, we could do it. 
um, food and, and you know coffee is is interesting because coffee is is fun to photograph especially like Coffee's if they beautiful. if they make designs and in fact what we have highlighted a wonderful independent coffee roaster and yeah. we photograph them doing the process of roasting yeah, the coffee roasting in that place. and um, and that that was fabulous in And uh, we, we also photographed the baristas making like those pretty designs with the foam of the coffee and like, yeah. you know, I, I, you know, I saw in, in, I think it's in Germany or somewhere, they're doing like uh, dog faces on the coffee. Oh, nice. But first coffee, have you seen that where they do a dog's face? Uh, I think on it's the... a stencil they use. Yeah. No, but they'll do your dog. No, like, I know, but they, you know, they right. adapt they, to... I, I think they use a computer program or something. Yeah. Yeah, but first coffee says New York City has a lot of roasters. Yeah, um, you know, that's a, it's a whole different specialty. Like food, food photography is special. Uh, uh, especially, we know somebody that that's uh, that's what he does. He's a food photographer. Yeah, that's sometimes like the food when they shoot for like a glossy magazine that's or something like that. They put so much a glaze and like lacquers and stuff on it to make it like so pretty that it's not edible anymore. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you can no longer eat the food yeah, that's all fake. Yeah. Right. Not all the time. Some of no. it's, you know, some of it's just oh natural. Right. That's a fact. But first coffee seen all sorts of animals and designs on coffee. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a Yeah, that's it's a big niche. Yeah, it's a huge market, exactly. Yeah, we like our coffee. That would be a cool, you know, cool thing to do in the future. Coffee book. Oops. Yeah, I'll have some. I think that, I mean, I think there are books on coffee. You know, I really do think so. Litter pickup. Look at that. It's Kramer. it opened up it's not like uh you know yeah. bumper or bumper but they're, they're they're weaving in and out yeah. like crazy here right yeah, weaving in. ros white says i can't wait for your new book release this fall let's make it an annual tradition i proudly display your books nice. oh oh look they're a donut on the car yeah guys so one of our plans for, um is that we are going to be inviting all of our wonderful youtube family Party. I don't know the date yet. I'll have to plan it. But in uh, this fall, yep. we have a new book called Great Bars of New York City. Now, the, the book itself is not about the drinks. It's about the bars itself. Right. So, showing the interior beauty of uh, many of the great bars of New York City. And the a Grand exterior. Wagoneer uh, project. Yeah, I see that there. It's missing. Cherokee, yeah. It's a... Uh, that's a nice project. A little, are, a little if empty. If you fix that thing up, that's a, a, they're collectible now. Yeah, that one needed a lot of work. Oh, I smell paint or something. Like a chemical plant. Kramer got the recyclables. Hey, Johnny, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Michael is asking, will we be in New York City by tonight? Yes. Well, Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers well, crossed. Wow, look at that. They got a scooter on there. That's illegal. Oh, no, yeah. You're not supposed to be out of Interstate 95 no, with a scooter. No, they didn't have a license plate. That's yeah. very dangerous. Vincent said, whenever we have our Brooklyn Lace party, he'll be there. Oh, thank you, Vincent. Thanks Desi Dash just sent us four ninety nine dollars super sticker. Desi Des, thanks for the support. Fantastic job. Thank you so much, Desi Des. Extra good. Let me show you Sweet Boy Hudson. There he is. There he is. I'll try to get him in the frame. Thank you, Desi Des. Des Thank you. As always, look at this, the Marine uh, insignia on the back of this Jeep. Oh, nice. Holy crap. Cecilia Wilson said it would be cool if you do a walking tour of some of the bars in the book. That's what we plan to do. We did that with our storefront when our storefront NYC book came out. We did a couple. We did a walking tour of some of the places in the village we highlighted. Yep. We did uh, some of the places in uh, in the West Village, East Village. Yep. 
We had fun with that. Hey, look at a flag going. It's windy. Beach Bum 88 has now pushed it up to 5.14 p.m. Oh, estimate. man, guys. Wow, I don't know. That's a tall order. That's all depending on the New Jersey Turnpike, if you ask yeah. me. Yeah, the Holland Tunnel. Yeah, mirror imaging. Yeah, sorry I'm, um, I'm backwards. I know I can change that on the camera. How did you use to do that? Bless you. It's a setting in Prism. I, I'd yeah. have to go back and um, fix that. Yeah, selfie mode does that. I thought I uh, changed it on the iPhone, but I guess it didn't um, take. Right. It's a studio apartment, so it, it just takes care of itself. We just lock the door and, you know, uh, uh, yeah, there's, uh, you know, our neighbor, we tell our neighbor that we're, we're that we're, that we're leaving and then and they keep an eye on it. It's a pretty secure building. Yeah. You know. We have really nice neighbors. And our, our, our neighbor also happens to be the vice president of the, um, Board. On the on the board of the building, so you know he's really attuned to like making sure everything is okay. He's really above board. Oh, Sharon Armstrong's checking in. Just hey, finished work. Oh, Justine says it's for tomorrow. Happy twelfth birthday! Send you a gift by PayPal. Oh my oh, God! Thanks. Thank you for Hudson's birthday, guys. Hot we're April. gonna we're gonna be celebrating Hud April, and I'll, I'll make an announcement of what day we're gonna be. We're going to have a little birthday celebration, and I will bake um, HUD, HUD cakes. Pup cakes. Pup HUD cakes, cakes we'll yeah. call them. HUD cakes, which are just, you know, basically, um, you know, uh, Cupcake. cupcakes. Cupcakes. But we're going to call them HUD cakes. Yeah, for HUDs. Yeah, HUD cakes. Homemade HUD cakes. We're driving through the freeway. Uh, love in a, a pink Cadillac. Aretha. Wow, these people are just, I mean, just let them over. God. Oh, okay. There's a lot of lane shifting, James. <laughs> yeah, a lot of shuffling the deck in front of me. Oh, Brendan Nelson, this says there's a cafe or a matter one that puts a uh, love uh, cafe. They make designs in their coffee. Oh, nice. Nice. Christian Hansen says you must crawl before you can walk. A sergeant once told me. Yes. True that. Yep. Chances are. Mark, um, it, it doesn't really make sense to do a book party in Florida because the book is not about Florida. So um, that's why we didn't you know, have any. You know, we've done one when we did a Miami graffiti book, Mark. We yeah. We had a book, uh, book events. When we, did a, when we did a book event, we did a, do a book event um, in Miami for book, our storefront book. But, yeah, we um, did another one. No, we had a couple. Yeah. But um, not a real a party. We did a book signing. Well, for a New York-based book, it, it just won't. Right, it makes more sense to be in New York, you know. Right. Roz White says, I'm counting on Sweet Hudson to perk up when he senses that you're close to New York. He always does. It cracks me up. Yep. Oh, of course. He, he smells smell the it. air. Yep. He smells the, the, the air. There's a lot of transplanted New Yorkers, though. Yeah. It's true that. Mark, you do, you do have a point. It would um, probably be well attended. And it would be all people reminiscing about all the places that they miss while, while they're in Florida. Walking through the Look at the purple tree, the blooms. Did you see that? I wonder yeah. if that's a cherry, like a purple cherry. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that is. Guys, does anyone know what the purple bloom a choke is? cherry. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing some book signings uh, this year. In fact, we, we, we have to sign books uh, for our storefront NYC book. When we get back to the city, for Joe. we'll have to sh shop. Uh, we're going to stop in at our local favorite bookstore, Village, Village Works. Works. Village Works Gallery Sheridan. Gallery and Bookstore, owned by Jerry Sheridan on St. Mark's Place in the East Village. We'll be signing some copies of Storefront NYC. If you're interested in getting a signed copy, uh, we will definitely stop there in the next couple of days and 
and sign some copies for Joey so, um, you know, he can send them on to you. And the crew. We'll also be doing, um, we'll, when our great bars Butter, in New York... someone pulled over up here. That's why everyone's stopping. When our great bars of New York City book comes out, we'll also be doing some advanced sales of signed copies that we'll send in, like we'll send you some uh, sticker and stuff like that with it as well. Yeah. Just like we did for Storefront NYC. But we have some time. You know, we won't be taking advanced orders quite yet. We'll wait till like uh, maybe August to the do that. The bender over there. Don't you think? Like around yeah. August. Coming up to Beltsville, guys. Still in Maryland, right? Yeah, Roz White will definitely do... You could do a pre-order of our book like you did last year. If you want to get a, a, a signed copy from us, we'll be doing some pre-orders. I mean, it's already available on Amazon. You know, not... You know, we understand... We like to support independently owned bookstores, but we understand if you... If it's easier for you to order from Amazon because you don't have access to a small local bookstore. You can look it up. You can type Great Bars of New York City. That's, you know, spell out Great Bars, B-A-R-S, of N-E-W-Y-O-R-K-C-I-T-Y by James and Carla Murray. And it should come up like right away. Um, You'll even see some preview photos of the inside. I, I believe it's up on Amazon already. At least the cover is up. The cover is an interior photography shot. It's um, actually of Pete's Tavern, which is the uh, wonderful historic bar and tavern in on Irving Place in the Gramercy Park neighborhood of Manhattan. And it's where... The Gift of the Magi was Yes. Written. Yes. Beautiful place. Really lovely. Oh, tolls. Okay. Roz White says, I'd rather order directly from you. We're oh, our, thank uh, you, Roz White. Gonna get our, uh, yeah, so let's get our easy pass up and settle. Let me put some water on it. Just take it so. Hold on, the gimbal is all. There we go. Good. I don't I don't know if we need per se the uh charger. No no the uh easy pass right away, but I'll throw it up there. just sent us $20. Hello, James, Big Carl, and Hudson. MG. Glad you guys are doing good and almost home. Coming to you from my grandma's house in Montana. Celebrating my birthday on Sunday. Oh. Oh, fantastic job. Happy pre-birthday to Bighorn MT. MT. Happy, Happy pre-birthday pre to Bighorn MT. Happy pre-birthday to Bighorn MT. And Hudson, cheer too. Oh, he is. Thank He's you. in the back seat. Thank you, Bighorn MT. There's Hudson in the back seat. Nice Thank you job. so much for the love and, and happy pre birthday. Fantastic. Um, I, I, I don't know if we're going to be sh Sunday. Um, I, I don't want to say we definitely will. Yeah, I mean, we don't know anything right now. Let's get home first and then we'll figure it out. Yeah. But if we are, we'll definitely sing happy birthday to you on Sunday as well if you, if you have nice a chance job. to join us in our live chat on Sunday. Wow. Everyone's wishing Bighorn MT a happy birthday. Oh, that's awesome, and I'm glad I'm glad you're you're celebrating with your family. That's extra nice. With grandma. Oh, Valerie looked it up on Amazon now. Great photos in the book. I'd rather order from your local bookstore. Nice. That's what I said. You can give a little sneak peek of it by checking it out on Amazon. Um, but supporting your local bookstore is I mean that's what that's what it's all about for us. Yep. If you can. And 
Hudson's here too. He's in the back yes. seat. Michael, if when we get back to New York City, we do give back the rental car. There's Hudson, he's sleeping in the back seat there. First we have to get uh we have to go to our apartment and, and give all our up, uh, you know, unload it. Hector Ariaga saying Sunday is also my birthday. Hector Happy Bur birthday. Happy pre birthday to you, Hector. Happy pre birthday to Hector. Happy pre pre birthday to Hector and Hudson's here too. He's right behind me in the back seat. Hector, again, we will we will sing it properly. Here if we're streaming on Sunday, we'll stream it properly to you then. I mean, some people say that it's not good to s s wish people b happy birthday before, but we did say pre-birthday. That was the codicil. Right. So we eliminated the, the Faber any jinxing of uh, wishing of singing happy birthday. We said happy pre-birthday. You know, just like we celebrate the, the whole month of April for Hudson's birthday, because we don't know the exact date. Yes, Michael, we do put storm shutters up on our house in Florida when we're uh, when we're gone. You know, we, we especially, um, you know, be, you know, it's good to cover the glass and it keeps it safe that way and it keeps it cooler. So, yes, we do. We have storm shutters. So it's it's, uh, you know, self uh, contained. Yeah. James puts Roz White says, if you've never purchased a book from James and Carl, I highly recommend them. Not only is their photography outstanding, but the details and histories they provide on each business is incomparable. Yeah, this one Oh, thank you. Yes, this book that's just coming up, guys, The uh, Great Bars of New York City. We did the uh, interior and exterior photography for the book, but because we, um, we only had a few months to complete the book, we did not do the photog the um, we did not write the text. Oh, but we did help. We did write the captions for the photos. The captions for the photos. And provide a lot of the information. And we provided a lot of the information for the the writer that was hired. But we hi they hired. They a hired a food to and beverage. Eloquently put it together. Right. They hired a food and beverage writer. You know, he's written about food and beverage. But with our with our information. Using our information, our interviews, you know, because he is actually. Oh, look at those! Look at the. Look yeah. At that. Pink. Pink and purple. Look at those trees. Pinky Tuscadero. Oh man, they look so pretty. In leather Tuscadero. Guys, uh, Joe Maliga, you in the chat? What? What? What's blooming? What's that purple bloom? You will know. I know that. Joe Maliga, we're we're counting on you. Bighorn MT plans on having pizza on my birthday. Nice. Hudson would approve. Oh, look, there's a dam. Indeed. Oh, dam. Dam, dam, dam. 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 Look at that dam. Dam. Ugh. Hector said thank you for wishing him happy birthday. Yeah, guys, we're coming up to Maryland pretty quick, right? Are we Victor Delaware, is saying, I mean. Victor is saying Hudson's sleeping and saying, what are these guys doing? They're Trooper Elliot. Trooper Elliot, I have your hat, and I also um, we cherish your stickers. We put them up on our fridge. See Maryland Welcome Center. Sonia says lavender helped me a lot with uh, stress with work. Yeah, you know, lavender is supposed to be very um, calming. Yes. Very calming. Lavender oil. Mighty Bill says, lick it with laughter, pop it with joy. Together we'll make this channel grow. Oh, thank right. you. Elliot says, good deal, drive safe. Thank you, Elliot. That means a lot. That's from... Retired um, state trooper Elliot, um, shouting out to us. We met him. He, we were driving. Yep, and, middle of the night. And yeah, it was late at night. And he's like, guys, I'm in the chat. Um, I'd love to meet you. I've got a little a gift to, to give you guys. And we met him. Uh, you know, basically, uh, he told us where to meet him on the side of the road, you know, safe. We just didn't pull over on the on 95. <laughs> and 
and it was a cute little area because it had like a little dog walk area. Yeah, and nice. um, we met his sweet doggy Maggie. Yeah, we put the picture um, up. Who who is a diabetic and um, that that he helps. Uh, he gives her medicine and he's just given her the best life ever. Yep, perfect little friend. Amy Joe says Hudson's so beautiful. Badass Kiel said Moin Moin from Germany, my friends. Wonderful. Oh. Yeah, so we're hitting a little like congestion again. Look at this, guys. Yeah. You know, just traffic. There's no accident that I can see, but you can see there's a hill coming up ahead, and it just looks like a lot of uh, you know congestion. Yeah. congestion. Scott Bagley says, hi, Carl and James, um, James, I hope you're doing well. Hey, Scott. Thank you for doing another live. Hope your day is going well. Stay safe. Thank you, Scott. We're getting there. Oh, Maggie has Cushing's disease now. Oh, Elliot, I, I hope that um, you're able to treat that as well because I know that, um, you know, you've done so much for your sweet doggy. Yeah. Guys, if you don't have a, a, a pet yourself, you know, it may be difficult to understand, but when you have a pet, you would understand your dog, your cat, your bird, his family, your fish, your turtle, in the truest sense of the word, right? Your scorpion, if Paul McDonough's still watching, yeah. the, your pets are members of your family, a lot of times, and you uh, would do anything with them to make them feel comfortable, to help them, to help them through any sickness, yeah. and uh, that's what we got. And we all support each other, so we're all to pet lovers out there. Yesterday was National Pet Day, so shout out to you yep. for loving a pet. They bring so much joy to your lives. The Mighty Bull just sent us 1999. Says thank God for the baby boomers. We were great. Oh. Nice Mighty Bull. Keep it real. Thank you, Mighty Bull. Thanks, boom, Mighty boom, Bull. Boom. Mighty Bull's in the room. Yeah, Mighty Look at there's Bull. there he is. There's the bulldog there's the extraordinaire. Yep. Hudson the pit bull. Thank you, Mighty Bull. And you, you might have a pet bull. Yeah. People do. They have pet cows. Yeah. Running with the bulls. That Pamela, too. Spain. Clara W. We're in Maryland now, Clara W. Where, um, just uh almost coming up to delaware yeah we're east of what's called columbia <laughs> what are you for? Yeah, right. stephanie gray said uh my two cats my schnauzer my blind bird are my world oh nice yeah, they're important, guys. Kathleen Kelly just got back from an emergency vet appointment with my pup. Thought he was going into oh, kidney failure, but thankfully no. it was just some fluids helped him oh, feel good. better. Good, oh, good, good. I'm so, so Excellent. they gave him some fluids. Oh, thank God. You know, we had a scare with our dog Hudson where he got, um, he had something wrong um, and they had to put like, Tabasco. They, uh, no, I mean Tabasco, not Hudson. They had to put like a fluid bag, like remember that yeah, uh, underneath his fluid, neck? Yeah. Yeah, they did like a fluid thing injection. Yeah, it really helped. So uh, I'm I'm glad that you got that sorted out. I'm glad that the emergency vet took care of you. Thank God. Yeah, Thank God little, for your friendly doctor. These little knuckleheads mean everything. Pookie Six agrees. We do anything for our four-legged family. It's a priority. Yep. Exactly. Guys, people say to us all the time, yeah, so prayers for a quick recovery. Um... For, you, for your sweet doggy. Yeah, prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Kathleen, you got this. That's all I got to say. You got this, Kathleen Kelly. Elliot agrees. I spent $150,000 on Maggie when she became diabetic and went blind and had cataract surgery and I had a feeding tube put in and all the meds that's added up. I wish I had bought insurance. Yeah, you know, you know what they have a saying? Hindsight is always 2020. Yeah, but you know. it's worth its weight in gold. That's why being a vet school then is to get into medical school. Yeah, it's a specialty. Time to tunnels, okay? Yeah, we didn't even go through. We got to get through Baltimore. 
Exactly. And then Thirteen we'll talk minutes about of saying it doesn't matter which one did you see. Whoa. I know. I don't Yeah, just nuts. Elliot, I don't know if you just saw that, but we just got cut off by a car. Yeah, uh, Trooper Elliot was here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, crazy how people drive. They're just, just so unaware of their surroundings. That's the best that's the thing I can say. I, I think we, uh, that it might have been buffering for that second, so yeah. it might have been blurred out. But at any rate, James handled it well. Clouds are thickening a little. Yeah, we really enjoyed our visit to Raleigh. A couple of years ago, on our way back up oh, to New York, Raleigh. we stayed in uh, Raleigh for two nights. Yeah, at the Longleaf Motel. And it was a great uh, mom and pop motel. It was a, it was a, uh, you know, like re-renovated. It's been sold since, right? Uh, different owner, yeah. yeah. What was the bull celebrating about? It was celebrating because it finally heard it all. Heard. Ah, <laughs> nice. that's a good one. Nice. Heard. Rev Jen says Raleigh is my favorite town. Nice. And then says James is rock solid. I hope to be a calm driver like he is. Yeah, he's very calm. He doesn't, you know, he just like go with the flow. Go with the flow. Move like water. Go with the flow. Yeah, and yes, we stayed right in the heart of Raleigh. We stayed at a place called uh, Longleaf um, Motel. We did a live stream from it. We have a playlist. If you go back, it was um, Char Grill. A couple of years ago, we went to a great um, mom and pop uh, hamburger place called Char Grill. That was fantastic. We had an excellent time. Yeah, beautiful place. Real nice people. Everything was great. Yeah. Michelle Lauren's eating blueberry pancakes, only buttered because I'm working, and have and there's mostly blueberries. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that sounds great. My God. Oh, Rich, a.k.a. Belvar Beagle, said it's raining now in New Jersey, but not, not hard. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the update. Thank you. So it said it doesn't matter which um, what you take. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Tom says keep on, uh, you know, that's been like, the second close cut off of today. Yeah. yeah, there's ones that you didn't even see, like when we were driving last night and we had stopped live streaming, we got cut off as well. Yeah, it's just thick traffic here now. James handles it like a pro, like a boss. Like a boss. Oh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, you got it. Yeah. Morning, bridge freezes before road surface. Okay. BWI Third Road Marshall Airport exit. Yeah. Baltimore, okay. Washington. Be we. We're now in Baltimore County. So we're right on the outskirts of Baltimore, Maryland yeah. right now. Keith Haven says I need to be more like James while driving because I lose my SHB. Oh sure. Elliot says, I'm thankful I was able to retire at age 52. I'm looking to buy a Class B small RV and start traveling. Oh, oh nice. that's a that'll be amazing. Yeah, that'll be nice, you guys. CAK813 says the sky's just opened up and it's pouring in Queens. Wow. We'll deal with it. Elliot, that will be so nice. You and Maggie on the road. Uh, that will be wonderful. Yeah, that'll be I fun. think that's a fabulous idea. Let Maggie see all the all all the, all the uh, beautiful uh, beautiful yeah. places that you can visit in uh, in the United States. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, we're uh, I ninety five tunnel seven miles eight minutes, and the other one was the same. You know, like yeah. it wasn't any faster. So no, we're doing good. We might as well just stay. Yeah. 
Elliot J Jameson says, yes, I'm shopping around for an RV right now. Nice. That'll be fun. I mean, there's so many different versions and combinations and like, you know, the ways you could have it outfitted and decorated and, uh, you know, what amenities you have inside. I can imagine how overwhelming. I mean, it's overwhelming to shop for a car. Yeah, it is. I can't even imagine an RV because, oh, you know, then you have to decide on like what kind of, how Analysis big. Analysis paralysis. Kitchen stuff and bathroom stuff and uh, oh, yes. bedroom stuff. And do you want this fold away? How big do you want this? Right. How much area do you want to devote to that? Like oh, it must yeah. be it's like, oh my endless, God. Yeah, endless decisions. Coming up on Towson. Yeah, Vincent's saying in New York it's raining hard. And uh, Rev Jen says, I'm trying to send all the rain from uh, Maine. Elliot says, it's just me and her, so we just need plenty of food, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vincent said his father had a Winnebago. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a big RV company. Yeah, they have all different sizes. Yeah. We saw a bunch of um, places like RV World, like driving up. Yeah. It's popular uh, down south. We know someone who got a Sprinter van, like one of those uh, Sprinter type vans, and had it outfitted. You know. Yeah, those could be decked out. Yeah, those are nice and uh, you know compact and easy to handle. Right, because you have to also consider like, um, you know, like. The, if you're going on some uh, smaller roads that you're not going to fit under an underpass if you have a big, big thing. Yeah, with the AC on top and everything. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool thing. It's definitely cool. Yeah, the clouds are gathering. Baltimore now, guys. Maryland. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing the city skyline already in Baltimore, guys. Yep. We've explored Baltimore a little bit before, you know, we were on YouTube. City of Baltimore is coming up, guys. It's raining in Baltimore, counting crows. Wow, this is a nice view of the city. You can yeah. see. Downtown Inner Harbor exit. Yep. Some old warehouses. Yeah, we've explored Baltimore. We've documented a bunch of its mom and pop stores. I mean, you know, we. We, but that was club. that was one of the places where we wanted to kind of uh, maybe was on our radar to do a, a, a road visit, trip yep. to, but um, or train. For the time being, we'll be tied up with our book. Yep. So easy pass, uh, six dollars. No, that's video by mail. I think it's. it's oh, so a little bit we get a discount. I think we do. Hey, look, New York. North New York, it said. Interstate 95, heading due north, New York. There's the yep. stadium. Oh, oh Patricia saying, when do you stop for lunch? Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, we'll, we'll stop when, uh, you know, we need a bathroom break and also to yes. walk Hudson. And yeah, get we're some gas. Have to get gas eventually. 
We filled up gas right before we left the hotel in Virginia this morning. Mustang says Baltimore is in rough shape right now. You know, I think it's like any city, you I know. I think a lot of cities now. Like a lot of cities, you know, like, you know, having some issues, just like, you know, New York has, you know, any, any big city. Yeah, it's sad. Baltimore is a beautiful city. So guys, um, we're going to the tunnel. Usually we um, have a decent cell service through the tunnel. So uh, let's see. Yep. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Right. If for some reason we lose you, uh, you we'll know, see you on the other side. we'll see you on the other side. We're going through bore three. guys I just did some silence through here it's cool I always I don't know why I love uh, tunnels yeah that was neat. yeah Elliot we're headed back to New York we're northbound on interstate 95 I-95 north yep. we got our easy pass up so I think that took care of itself The uh, tunnel now. Oh, Michelle Norton's back at work. I gotta go. Gotta go. Thank you, Thanks, Michelle. Michelle. How close are you to New York? Uh, you know, not a couple hours. Yeah, three hours. Yeah, you know that's Maryland. Right. I mean, you know, it could be four, it could be three, six, could be six. Yeah. We don't, you know, traffic again, guys. It's it all, all. It's all about the traffic you now. Just gotta go with the flow. Yeah. You'll get there. You can estimate all you want, but you know you yep. you don't know unless you you know if you hit Got traffic. My two best friends in the car. It doesn't matter to me. Right. Whenever we get there, we're happy. Carlin Hudson. Oh, yeah. Elliot says, do you all buy separate car insurance, or do you just use personal car insurance? We use our personal car insurance. And also what we do is we use a American Express card and it covers the insurance. So you don't have to pay for the additional insurance that Hertz offers. When you rent through a credit card, they'll cover for any, um, anything that, you know, wouldn't normally be covered using your own, uh, insurance. Right. Right. So it's always good to pay by a credit card that, you know, read the credit card. Sometimes they offer perks. One of the perks of the American Express is that they will, they have, uh, you know, they'll cover you. They even have a special thing with Hertz as well. Uh, you know, like more points or, you know, what. So you can always check that, you know. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. 
So sorry guys that it's all, uh, you know, we're on a steep uh, incline. That's why it's so uh, crooked, the picture. Oh, Jason Mars looked it up. There's only very light traffic right now. Okay. That's good to know. Thank nice, you. Jason. Thank you. That's wow, encouraging. this is really tilted. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Let me. That's uh, encouraging. Let me uh, fix this. Yep. There we go. Hey, that's the car we had another rental trip, the Buick Encore. Wow, I gotta really straighten this out. And now. Remember, we've had that. Yes. entrance we uh we're not on the express entrance we can always do that later right we're going to elect to take um not pay a toll because it doesn't look like there's much traffic we and, know james james is always looking you know for we're gonna way. we're gonna roll the dice and and yeah. and save uh save put it towards gas money my wallet's gone Oh, Elliot loves when we do puzzles. He doesn't comment uh, much, but he but he does watch. Nice. Oh, Thanks, thank Elliot. you, Elliot. We're glad you found our puzzle builds and Lego builds relaxing. Gas went here from 319 a gallon to 359 overnight. Yeah, Elliot, we noticed that gas, we couldn't believe that in North Carolina, that gas was um, that expensive. Yeah, we, for bananas. Yeah, overnight, because we're like, wait, what happened to like around $3 or yeah. so? All of a sudden now, we're back up around 4 Yeah. One place in North Carolina, we, we decided that was in North Carolina, right, James? Or was, yeah. that, in, was that in South Carolina? We said, Three ninety nine, and we just we, we flat out we refused to pay it. I think we spent. Uh, oh, that was Florida because we had to fill up right away. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was Florida. Because the rental thing, they didn't fill the tank. Yeah, and Elliot says it's only gonna go up in price from here because summer's coming. You know, yeah, it always gets that's more what expensive. I, said. I, was, I know. Trooper Elliot, I was saying the exact same thing that this is like an off season. And that's something to consider too for you when you're it's buying a big your travel time. When you're buying your RV because they're yeah. they're more of a gas. That's why I said car. maybe the Sprinter vans that are outfitted like an RV are, are a good idea because they, you know, it's more streamlined. And, but I know it can get expensive. South Carolina is always cheaper, Elliot saying. Yeah. If you can wait to buy your gas, not while you're in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, we had a decent in Virginia. What did we pay? Um, was it three twenty nine? Let me see. Yeah, three twenty one, maybe. Guys, look, here. Let's talk gas. Why not? Right lane is closed. Robin just filled up at Sheets, and it cost three fifty nine. Said Ellie, Ellie Jamison. Yeah. Yeah. So let's look this up. Um, here's all our gas receipts that I've gotten. Racetrack in Palm Bay, Florida. $3.55.9. That's, That's when we drove away from 3 dollars That's when we drove away from $3.99. Right. Now, um, then Skippers in Emporio, Virginia. That was right across from our hotel. Uh, we paid three dollars and twenty-seven nine, three point two seven nine. So that was uh, obviously considerably less. Um, wait, I have one more gas receipt someplace else. Hold on. If you don't mind me digging, guys, I'm uh, digging around because you know why not? We're having fun here talking shop because somebody was also interested how how expensive it is gas I'm, I try to keep all the receipts uh, here's a gas receipt here um, Yemisi South Carolina uh, three 
they don't say how much it was a gallon, but we got 10 gallons and it cost, oh, there it is, 359. Yeah. What happened to so that like was 305? That was still in South Carolina, 359. Yeah. So that wasn't, um, I think, you know, uh, someone in the chat said gas went up by them, 40 cents in a day. So actually Florida was cheaper than South Carolina. Yeah, but usually it's a lot cheaper. From 355 to 359. No, I didn't realize that Florida nowhere, was though. cheaper. Yeah. And I'm then gonna get around this camper guys, just hang on. The cheapest we've paid yet was in Virginia. 327.9. Right. Yeah, Brenda, we, we do keep the gas receipts. We, they are a tax deduction. We absolutely keep the cat uh, receipts because we are headed back to for work. So yes, we do. We do keep all those receipts. The road on the uh, Interstate 95 has uh, widened. So, look, road work, North Scale House. Uh, yeah, I don't. Th I don't think that's anything that's going to affect us. I think it's for trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vincent says gas prices are crazy today, but you got to pay. What, you gotta, what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, and Ellie says wait until they make us all get electric uh, cars. Gas will be twenty dollars a gallon in twenty thirty five. If we. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Yeah. They destroy the environment, making the batteries. So. Denny Scherer said, I got gas at Sam's Club in, Day in Dayton, Ohio, and it was two eighty nine. Well, there you go. Yeah, it yeah is. and that's it. That's at the Sam's yeah, Club. Yeah, I, I watch on, I see it on, on YouTube, the lines for Sam's Club for gas. Yeah, because it's the cheapest, right? Yeah, there's huge lines. So then what, do they wait for an hour, hour or so? No, it's huge. The lines are massive. Queen Wifey 1995 is saying, hi, good afternoon. I hope hey, you have Queen a beautiful, Wifey. safe travel. Yeah, um, MG Mustang said expect four gallon, four bucks a gallon all summer, and it goes up. Yeah. yeah. Robin Gastonia just paid three thirty nine uh, yesterday in North Carolina. Three thirty nine. Yeah, we're slowing down a little bit, guys. That's all right. Work zone, yeah. Ross White just sent us 1999 super sticker. Oh, Ross White, oh. fantastic job. Thanks for that, Ross White. Fantastic job. Thank you, Ross White. Extra, extra good. And there's Sweet Boy Hudson in the back seat. Thank you so much. It's so sweet yeah, of you. Yeah, that keeps us going. It does. You got me pumped up. It's so much fun. Honestly, guys. Trial. You know, we've obviously, we were, we were live streaming and we did... We were live streamers and we drove back and forth to Florida and we never thought to live stream our it's drive. It's so much fun. We didn't think that people would be interested. But so not fun. only do you guys seem to enjoy it, but oh, we, we love it. Yeah, we love it. It, it really it makes the time go by faster. Yeah, it's it so much fun. It, and I feel like we have this big family in the back seat with us. The load, yeah. You know, we we laugh, we 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 like we're surprised together when like we see something like oh my god, look at that guy cut us off. Like you know, we laugh about it. Where we're like whoa, or when it starts raining or something like that, like yeah, the tornado so watch yesterday. Yeah, a lot of nice fun. Hi, Huds. Look, Hudson, seeing what's going on. Yeah, Roz White said car insurance is also up um, for 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 Roz for. Oh, look, guys, look, 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 look who's here. Look who's making an appearance. The Hudson. Oh, Huts, there you go. There you go, Huts. Hudson's doing some navigating. Yeah. Boop cam. Boop. Boop cam. <laughs> Hudson, when she, uh, you know what, James? You know what, probably what I, I think because Hudson's up, Next time that we see a good area to pull off yeah. and take Hudson okay. for a little walk, I think yeah. um, I think Hudson's up from his little nap and would like to go for a walk. What do you yeah. think? That sounds fantastic. Hudson, would you like that? 
Yeah, sweet boy. Would you like that? Yeah, we see a good area exit, you know. Uh, Teresa Hall saying, where are you guys now? Um, somewhere north of Baltimore in yeah, Maryland. just north of Baltimore. And Hudson just woke up. Hudson just woke up. Let me show you Hudson again. Here's the Hudson face. The eye of Hudson. The nose of Hudson. Yeah, yeah he's loving it. Hudson, yeah, I'll take a break, Hudson. Yeah, and Sham and Zito said we also spotted classic cars on the highway. Yeah, yeah we saw that um the Galaxy 500. Yeah, the Sun uh Sun Sun Sunliner. Sunliner, yes. Yeah. And then just sent us $25. Thanks for having us along. Have some pizza or food on me. Oh. And then thank you so much. Oh, look at look how job. cute this is. Yeah, there's the Hudster. Oh. Oh, I want to take a picture too of us together. When he's up like this, it looks so cute. Mm -hmm. Hey, James, can you hold this yeah. to together for one second? I'm gonna. Need to break. Okay, hold on. Camera. Okay. That's. Treat. Let's look, look, look. Pizza. All right, got it. I got a little. I got a little. I got a little photo of Hudson that we can put up as a, you know, because he just looks so cute. He just looks so cute. Elliot says, "Drive safe." Yep. So thank you again, that man. Hudson's saying, are Fantastic we there yet? Job, are we there yet? Oh, um, Elliot's just about to get a haircut. Extra good. We, we, we hope it, um, that you find a, a great, a great barber to do so. Yep. Here's some gossip. We're very lucky that Hudson never needs a haircut. Brenda says we pay thirteen hundred a year for car insurance. We used to pay eighteen hundred a year, but we asked to lower it. Uh, that that's great. That's a great savings. My goodness. One eighty one to New York. One eighty one to New York, About guys. Hours. We just saw our, we don't hit traffic. our first. Th is that our first? Oh, Denny Sherris says my sister lives in Bel Air, Maryland. Been there a few, um, and then I was just there a few weeks ago. It's funny because we have been to Bel Air, Maryland. Yeah, my friend Alex. James's friend Alex. I used, put a picture of us two in Union Square. In the, yeah, uh, used to live there. So on the community page. Believe it or not, we've He's been in New Mexico now. We've been to Bel Air, Maryland as well. Of course, we're he says let's campaign for a statue of Hudson in New York yeah. City. What's going on? Queen Wifey is um was uh talking to to Mark. Yeah, Queen Wifey, uh, uh Delray Beach is is a really nice place to visit. You can watch some of our our live streams from Delray. A uh, great place um to walk. Um, beautiful uh shops and restaurants along Atlantic Avenue, and um, nice beach access. And uh, Queen Wifey, I also recommend uh, North Miami Beach. I yep. think it's also very nice um, to visit. Uh, Sunny Isles was great. Powder Falls. That's a big green too. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I'm looking for a sign. Oh yeah, you're looking for something. 
Brenda Nelson said that would be great, like the Balto statue in Central Park. Yeah. A Hudson statue. Oh, that would uh, be awesome. Hermano Pava says, God bless you. Thank you, Hermano, for watching. Oh, this is crazy out here. Yeah, and I, it just so it's weird because we're in an area where I don't see, like I was looking for, like, oh, this would be a oh, nice... there's a rest area coming up. So we can do that. Oh, perfect. Oh, look, uh, gas and stuff. Or a sign. There's a sign in this. Oh, good. Yeah, so guys, um, James and I just spotted a sign coming up um, where there's some, uh, you know, place to walk Hudson and, and, and some, uh, some uh, you know, easy on, easy yeah, off like from, uh, you know, Interstate 95 here. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to be, um, oh, the Maryland House service area. Don't yeah. walk Hudson there, right? Yeah, that comes. That's in ten miles. So let's do that. There's a service area. That's even. That's even better. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna be uh, getting off in, in just a, a couple of miles at this at this service area uh, because that they always have like a dog walking area and that's um, super nice yeah, for we'll hunting. Yeah, we'll just top off the gas to get us to New Jersey. Stretch our legs and um, you know all that and yeah, top have off the, top off the gas. Maybe have a snack. And we'll see you guys. Maybe we'll take like a good, um, you know, half hour break. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so it's it's one one twenty one now. Yeah. Figure we'll probably be back on at um, yeah. you know around two o'clock, maybe a little bit before. Yeah, maybe a little before two, right around. Because uh, you know we didn't even get to the exit yet. Um, so figure by the time we get to the exit and park, it might be one thirty. Yeah. The so hold on, guys. Yeah, so guys, so we're gonna be uh, getting off at the rest area. If you if you miss that, we're gonna be there's a nice rest area here in Maryland. We're gonna be walking Hudson, uh, stretching our legs, taking him for a nice walk. Probably get some gas for the car because we need it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in about a half we'll, hour. We'll see you about a half hour. Probably restarting around 2 p.m. And thanks for the super chats and super Refill stickers. Refill your snack bowl. And you'll uh, be back in the back seat with Hudson before you know it. Yep. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you in a minute.